Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats du Sport à Radio-Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fender. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program. Pierre, partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U Sport. Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1979. Bearing, exclusive supplier of U-Sports championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des packs des championnats du sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball. Le V200W, ballon officiel de U-Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V200W. Official volleyball of U-Sports. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Athletics and Recreation Center on the campus of Queen's University. It is the 2024 U-Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships, and it's the game you've all been waiting for. It is the gold medal match between the RSEQ champion, the top-seeded Sherbrooke Bechior, and the Canada West champions, the second seed in the tournament, the Alberta Golden Bears. It should be an outstanding matchup here. I'm Kyle Campo, joined alongside by Alex Elliott and Everett Delorme. We've been on the, the call all tournament long, and again, two very strong teams here to close out the gold medal match. Uh, and a little bit of contrast in style. We see the way that Sherbrooke plays, a little bit more fundamental, using their block scheme and recycling and, and being able to convert into offense. And then the Alberta Golden Bears, a very physical team, a lot of high flyers in terms of their offensive uh, opportunities and being able to score points. Yeah, Sherbrooke is very scrappy on the defensive end. You know, they let the other team play, let them put the ball over the net, and they find a way to scrap it out. They have really strong ability to, to scoop anything that comes at them. Alberta's big, physical, strong team. It's a complete opposite styles. Look for Isaac Helsinga to really be the guy on Alberta. And Everett, who's who's the number one guy out of Sherbrooke? See, for me, the number one guy out of Sherbrooke has to be Jonathan Montanas. He's the stir that stirs, he's the, 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 the stick that stirs the drink, if you will. He dishes that offense like pure butter. And he's so precise, he's so perfect with everything that he does. Pointing at Boyd now, he's really the center fold of, of what they do, and they're so they're so precise with everything that they do. As you mentioned, their transition game is outstanding, and that's not because of a the decision making and the location of the sets. And both of these teams coming off straight set straight set semifinal victories. The Sherbrooke Vecchior. Uh, again, coming off of a, a huge semi-final victory, um, and they will be taking on the Alberta Golden Bears, who are going to be coming off a victory against the UBC Thunderbirds. Sherbrooke taking down the host Queens Gales in the semi-final. Join us back for the gold medal match. You're watching the 2024 U-Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships, presented by Macasa on CBC Sports. Marquise here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships.
in celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Mark Hughes here, president of Canucks Cup. And this is a short video. Overkill short. Get yours today at overkill.ca. Welcome back to the Athletics and Recreation Center as we introduce tonight's starting rosters for the U Sports National Championship. Here at the Arc, looking at the Alberta Golden Bears, should be some familiar faces if you've been tuning in to Canada West Volleyball and watching the Golden Bears all season long, and especially here in this National Championship final. It'll be Sam Drybro, Billy Johnstone, Liam Espadino, Braden Weed, Jacob Sargent, and Isaac Heslinga with Merrick Edwards anchoring the defense as the starting libero. On the other side, for the Sherbrooke FAO, Jonathan Portalon, Zachary Hollins, Yoan David, Elia Colau, Julian Vanier, and Grégoire Mercier-Noel with last night's semi-final player of the match, Zachary Moisin as the libero for Sherbrooke. And again, looking at the starting lineup for these two sides. No surprises looking across, and maybe we'll see some subs come out throughout the course of the match, but certainly no surprises in terms of the starting lineup for both Sherbrooke and University of Alberta. No, you don't get to this point in the season if there's any indecision in the lineup most of the time. We you know, see some of the players to watch. Uh, Zachary Hardon for Sherbrooke and Isaac Heslinga. We talked about Heslinga a little bit earlier. He's the player of the year. I truly believe that there is no other player in the country right now as good as Isaac Heslinga. He plays on another level from everyone else. He saw him drop 31, 34 points in the quarterfinal against Laval. He's fantastic on Friday night in the semifinal uh, once again. But on the other side of the net, Zachary Arlen, who is a libero, was a libero this summer for Team Canada on the B team. He does everything for this Sherbrooke team. He can pass, he plays defense, he's good on offense, he blocks. He is a fantastic all-around player. Should be an outstanding matchup here as we get set to wrap up the starting lineup introductions and then we'll get the opening serve here. But again, a little bit of contrast in styles as we kind of mentioned off the top. Alex, we saw that yesterday. Sherbrooke coming off again a straight sets victory against the Queens Gales and the Golden Bears coming off a straight set victory against the UBC Thunderbirds. So again, we'll see which style of play and which team has to make the adjustment first. Yeah, early on in the weekend, we saw Sherbrooke, you know, using their middles a lot in transition and in their offense. They were able to get them going and they also shut down the middles in the other team, commit blocking a lot early on. It'll be interesting to see if they work on that style this evening with a, a guy like Heslinga on the other side. If you commit block and you leave him one-on-one -on -one all night, no. it's going to be a long night. No. So look for them to probably more read block because they got to shut down those outsides, which will maybe open up a bit of a hole for Alberta in the middle early on. Guys, I, I won't lie. I've been watching U Sports Men's Volleyball now for almost two decades. I can't remember a national final that I've been more excited for because I can't call it. This game is so close with these two teams. I think we're in for an all-time great here. So the opening serve will take place here momentarily, and it'll come off the shoulder of number eight, Elia Kola, for the Sherbrooke Bertheor. He was the player of the match earlier on in the tournament. In the quarterfinal victory against the Guelph Griffins, it was Elia Kola who was the player of the match, and he will get the opening serve of this 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championship gold medal match. Passed up set from Drybo to the outside off the top of the swing. And the first point of the match goes off the swing from Isaac Heslinga. Yeah, as to be expected here from Heslinga. You're going to be saying that name a lot here tonight, uh, Kyle, I think. Great find again to the outside from Drybo to find Heslinga. Swings off the top of the block. And back to serve will be Graydon Weave for the Golden Bears. He floats serve by Weave off the arms of Moisin. Hollands. High ball set to the left side to Mercier Noel over the top. Drybro set back to the left side. Heslinga off speed this time and they recycle. Back to the left side pin once again off the top of the block. Yuan David gets there. 
Portalos to the outside, Mauricio Noel able to scramble, no! And the Vecchior get on the board, that push to the left side. Second time through on the swing by Baskin. Mercier Just Noel. classic play by Sherbrooke there, being scrappy, getting the ball up, lots of digs, and forcing Alberta to make an error. So Greg Mercier Noel scores the first point of the set for the Sherbrooke Vecchior, and it'll be Jonathan Portalance back to the service line now for Sherbrooke. Pastov comes in tight, Drybro into the middle to wipe off the block. Able to recover, set back into Heslinga, just goes up over top of the block. They wow. close that triple, but Heslinga bit too much reach over top of the block. That's what I meant when I said earlier that no one plays at his level. He plays at a height and an altitude that no one else in Canada can reach. Sam Drybro, back to the service line now for Alberta. Shallow serve received here for the Vecchior. Hand pass there by Holland, set into the middle. And the block is there by Billy Johnstone to flex back to the open floor. And he went full pitch, commit blocking there on that four pass. It'll be interesting to see if they stay with that and commit blocking the middles because Sherbrooke's middles have had so much success so far in this tournament. And that's huge because Johnstone has been slow to get into matches. So he, that he's getting these touches early is massive for the Golden Bears. Serve again from Drybro. They run it back into the middle this time to Julien Vanier. A little bit of an off-speed contact there from Vanier in the middle. Eats up the block and drops to the open floor. And it's 3-2 in favor of the Golden Bears. I love how Poltenas is establishing his middle early. Greg Mercier Noel back to the service line now for Sherbrooke. Bit of a hybrid no to go short into the tape on the service error that time from Sherbrooke. Yeah, if you tuned in for that bronze medal match, there was a lot of service errors throughout the entire match. Probably 20 between the two teams in the first set. Look for a very different type of game here. They don't miss very often on both sides. They limit their errors. It's going to be a lot of really good rallies to see. Isaac Heslinga back to the service line for Alberta. Set into the middle. Just going to wipe. There is Vanier back to the outside. Hollins! And it's blocked. Johnson Espedito to the open floor. And it's 5-2 Alberta. Johnstone all over that play with multiple touches before getting that block. Big middle play so far by the Golden Bears. Heslinga back to serve again. It's a deep serve receive here for Sherbrooke. Moisai anchoring. And he gets contact. It's a great pass by Moisai to the right side. David, no touch on the block. It's going to go the width of the court. And it's a four-point run now for, for Alberta. They lead 6-2. And it's the size of the Golden Bears right now that's giving uh, the uh, Varior trouble, right? The size of that block, he's trying to cut it too sharp, too tight, because he's avoiding that middle blocker, because they've had so much success in Johnstone pressing and getting a couple blocks. Heslinga takes a bit of pace off this time. Good pass up by Moisin. Right side, David tips down the line. Second contact there from Drybro, just going to get sent over on the free ball by Sargent. Set to the right side, David again down the line. Good scoop on defense from Alberta. Espedito. Sends it over on the free ball. Moisin, high ball to the right side. David off the top of the block. Heslinga gets there. Drybro, left side. Sargent cuts inside. It's an attacking error. Can't find hands on the swing that time. Jacob Sargent. Yeah, sometimes when the blockers drop their hands, I don't love it because it, it leaves an opportunity for the team to swing full on. But very smart there because he was looking for hands and he could not find them as he hits it out the sideline. Yeah, you could see Sargent just wasn't ready for that. He didn't get a full on approach. Great vision there by the Vajayal. Julien Vanier to the service line now. Oh. It's going to go out the back. Looks like it was close. And Alex. They're, and they're going to call the ace. Alex and I both saw that in, I think. Yeah, I think a couple different referees saw different things in that point. The up official says, no, I think that was in. Over rules. Point goes to Sherbrooke. So the ace goes to Julien Vanier. Brings the, the Vecchio back to within two. Does he have another one? Passed up well this time by Sargent. Set into the pipe. Good cut around by Heslinga. They'll try to reset and go again. Drybro to the right side. Espedito! Wow. Straight down to the floor, Liam Espedito. You know what? I think that if Alberta's going to be truly successful tonight, that man there has to have a big match. If he's able to cause a little bit of concern for Sherbrooke, take the attention away from Heslinga and Sargent, that's just going to open things way up for the Golden Bears. Billy Johnstone back to serve now for Alberta. Passed up by Moisin. Portalance to the outside, Hollins up over top, gonna get recycled. Good timing on the block by Moisin, gets it in tight again to Hollins. Wow. Zachary Hollins finds the back corner. 
That is an incredible swing for Holland. So what's what's he marked on the on the what's he marked on the, the statue? What's his what's his height on the roster? Six foot. He just found a seam in between the blocks between the two out, the outside who's closing on the third on the way in to put up a triple. He was able to just find that seam. Yoan David with an aggressive serve set to the right side. Espadino again. A little back set finds Liam Espadino, hard cross. And it's so fast, that set. It's such a quick set that going back, there's no way that the middle blocker can go and close because they're running it so fast. That's one-on-one -on, -one on the outside and a mismatch And that's a, that's a big difference from the balls we've been seeing Drybro give Espadito throughout this tournament so far. It is Espadito back to the service line now for Alberta, and it's an ace for Liam Espadito. And the Golden Bears lead throws to four. It's 9-5. In my opinion, Espadito has been the best server, however, for Alberta so far in this tournament. Yeah, and very uncharacteristic you'd see from Sherbrooke. They've been so solid, four passing, three passing, almost everything. We don't see them get aced very often, but a great serve from the Golden Bears. Espadino back to serve again. It's a high ball on receive, able to get out across there as Portalons in tight to Hollands. And they get contact on the Alberta side, so they'll reset now. Drybro back to the outside, Sargent off the top of the block. Portalons out of the pipe, great swing out of the back row. And it's Greg Mercier-Noel converts out of the back for Sherbrooke Bethlehem. Mercier-Noel is really rounding out this team nicely. He's one of the few additions from last year's squad. But he just brings so much a, a, a dynamic side to their offense and their defense. Zachary Hollins back to serve now for Sherbrooke. It is 9-6 for Alberta. Passed up by Edwards. Drybro gets there. Set to the left side to Sargent. Moisin to Portalos to the outside. Mercy and Noel is blocked. And what timing coming across. Drybro able to close and able to get contact there with Braden Weave. And it's been the story of the match so far is Alberta's block. They've found a way to slow this offense down. No one's done that all season yet. They have so many options and Portalos uses everyone. But somehow Alberta's thinking one step ahead and finding ways to get two or three people on every block. Sherbrooke sure, sure is hitting... Oh, 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 right now because of the block of Alberta. Service error that time by Sargent. He goes into the nets, and the deficit is three here for Sherbrooke. And Elliot Colau back to the service line now for the Vefeo. The float serve passed up there by Sargent. Straight up to Heslinga off the top of the block. Portalons takes first ball, swing on the two ball. Julien Vanier back to within two. And that's just a testament to how close and how well this team works together. Going on two like that, I even think he might have fisted that ball just for a little more uh, emphasis, but that's how well these, these players know each other. Back to within two, serving is Colau. Deep float ball again, Edwards passes up, Drybro to the C to Espadito. Comes cross outside the block. And it's an 11-8 lead for Alberta. And that spells a little bit of trouble there because there's a bit of an indecision in the middle there. He decided, I'm going to read block. Oh, no, I'm going to commit. And then he was in between both decisions. And as a result, it's one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and you have a clean swing and a score. 11-8 for the Canada West champs. Pass comes in tight from Holland, set to the outside. Mercy and Noel off the top of the block, and a good conversion on that left side by Greg Mercier Noel. That's a great emotional response there by Sherbrooke. Just keeping things simple, going to the outside, hitting high off hands. And they just need to settle into their game style a little bit more here. And they, they're going to be able to get right back into this game. Jonathan Portalos back to the service line now for Sherbrooke. And it's a float serve. We're going to get passed up though by Sargent. Set to the left side. Heslinga off the block and finds the back corner. Isaac Heslinga swinging so high and so hard under that left side pin. Just so high and so hard, and he's so versatile. He has every shot in the book, and that time he just decides, I'm going to take it off the top of the block because he's so high, and that's a, such a smart shot, mm -hmm. swinging high and deep to the corner. 12-9 for the Golden Bears. Dry roll with the serve. Pass from Holland to the outside, Mercy. Noel! And it's blocked! Make that Yoan David on the attack on the left side pin, but the block is there from the Golden Bears. Timeout taken by Sherbrooke. 13-9, the advantage for the Golden Bears. You know what? This is stark contrast to what we saw in last year's U Sports semifinal when it was really all Sherbrooke. So far, they've had no answer. Alberta's really bringing the pace. This is the worst Sherbrooke has passed all tournament, and their blocking has been outstanding. 
Slinga coming, closing and sealing on that triple block to the left side pin on Yoan David. Able to time it perfectly, deflect it to the open floor, and it is the first time out taken of this national championship gold medal match. And it's from the top seeded Sherbrooke Berthéon. Yeah, I think it's a smart time out right here. It's not like the game's getting away from them. It's just they're not playing the style they're used to playing. And what they usually do is pass so well to keep all their options in. Even right there, that was another two pass where he only had one option. And Alberta's getting two or three blockers on everything. And they're blocking so well because they're so big and physical. You know, if Sherbrooke wants to claw back into this set, they need to start passing better to keep their options going and give Portalas two, or sorry, three or four options every single time. And that's what we've seen all week, and that's what we've seen all year from Sherbrooke. They've just gone away from that right now. Maybe they're a little tight. I'm going to look for them to settle in a bit more as we get to the later parts of this set. 13-9 coming out of the timeout, and Sam Dryberall back to the service line again here for Alberta. It's a short serve receive. Hand pass there by Hollins. Portalos to the outside, over the top. David, they're going to be called on the net. It is set a little bit too far in tight, maybe, for Yoan David. Can't make the adjustment, clicks the net on the way through. I think Yoan David is one of the guys who was so dominant last year for Sherbrooke, and we really haven't seen him in that same way so far this year. And If they're going to have some success, he needs to be able to step up a little bit. 14-9, the advantage now for... Alberta and a good swing, but the block is there by Johnstone. He'll take first ball back the other way. Set to the right side, Espedito off the top of the block. A great transition there from the Golden Bears. Off the block, they recycle. They set to the right side to Espedito. Comes cross court for another winner for Alberta. It's 15-9. Yeah, another good slowdown by their block, and they're running that right side ball so fast. It's going to give them one-on-ones all night. Look served by Drybro, good pass in by Hollins. They run to Hollins out of the pipe, and it's a scoop there by Drybro. Espedito takes second ball, it's gonna go over the net. But it comes back the other way, Espedito blocked! Yohan David answers back the other way for Sherbrooke. That is what I'm looking for from the big man from Sherbrooke, the man with the green hair. They do the fire up, having blocking Espedito on that right side, and finally they shut him down. That's a massive point for Sherbrooke. Gregoire Mercier Noel back to the service line now for Sherbrooke. They trail by five. Midway through this opening set. Passed up by Edwards. It's going to go up and hit the basketball net and out of play to credit the ace to Mercier Noel. Yeah, absolutely. You got to love that. A big emotional point for Sherbrooke. They converted right away with the ace. They're back in this match. So see what the approaches for the serve this time by Greg Mercier Noel. It's another toss forward. Passed up this time well by Edwards. Drybro into the middle. Johnstone tips over the top. Sees the block scheme set up between David and Julien Vanier. They're able to make adjustments and find the gaps in the defense. It's one of the hardest things to stop is when a middle goes up there and throws something a little off speed because it comes such from such a steep attack angle that the guy in one is trying to dive in and take it and the guy off the net as well. It's just really hard to stop. Served by Heslinga. Passed up Portalance. Forearm set to Hollins. Good cross court, but they keep it alive. Sent over in the free ball by Edwards. Julien Vanier, Portalance facing the net to David. Off the block. And a great set that time by Jonathan Portalance. Parallel to the net, able to set back to the right side to David. Slowly clawing themselves back into this match, not only on the scoreboard, but also emotionally right now with Sherbert. 16-12, and it'll be Julien Vanier back to the service line now for the Verreur. Deep serve received. Edwards anchoring in the middle. Kind of a roll on the serve. Drybro into the left side, and a good swing, but it's picked up by Mercier Noel. Sent over on the free ball by Hollins. Edwards to Drybro, to the pipe. Heslinga takes off and puts that one away. It's back to 5-17-12. This is what we came to see. This is this is what I wanted to see. Sherbrooke making digs and Heslinga flying and swinging. This is perfect. 17-12 the advantage, and Billy Johnstone will come back to the line to get a second look at the pipe run Ooh. to Isaac Heslinga. Ooh. Johnstone, pass comes in tight. Portalos to the outside. Hollins cuts down the line. No contact on the block. And the attacking error will give the point to Alberta. 18-12, late in this first set. Yeah, they can claw their way back into this match if they pass that well. Alberta's commit blocking there, leaving them one-on-one -on, -one on the outside because Sherbrooke's Mills have had success in this tournament, but they need to start passing well in order to claw their way back. 
Passed up by Moisin. Portolans to the outside to Hollins. Off the top of the block. Playing that one up is Sargent. Drybro to Espedito. The overload on the right side. And they set it across to Espedito on the pin. A big swing from the left. And he's across. just been teeing off all night, right? He got blocked that one time, but everything else has been a bomb. He's just bouncing it either right down the line or bouncing it cross court. There's no way anyone's going to be able to get their hands on it. They need to slow that down with the block. No, he's got seven points so far. He's five for seven offensively, and Drago has done an amazing job at keeping him in rhythm. And Hugo Ouellette's coming into the game for Zachary Hollins. Portalos to the right side. David off the top of the block. Johnstone gets a touch there. Has Lingen able to keep it alive, but... Not a track enough there to bring it back in. But what a pursuit there by the player of the year. What can Haslinga do? Like that was quite like what a chase down there by the player of the year. My goodness. 19-13 is the advantage for Alberta and Johan David back to the service line. And as we mentioned, Hugo Willett into the match now for Hollins. Passed up there by Sargent. Getting to it is Heslinga, and Sargent stays on top. Sends it over the top of the block. And the sprawling Yohan Davi trying to get there, but unable to pick it up. That was real close, though. He was right there. He was right there. And it's something so interesting that we're seeing a lot more in volleyball these days is when players are going up with a volley into the block to either force it into it and get a recycle, but that time he forced it just over the top and it falls down. So it's a very interesting play that players are working on a lot more in this day and age of volleyball. Liam Espedito back to the service line for the Alberta Golden Bears. And it is a seven-point advantage here. We've just had a sub come in for Sherbrooke as well. Number 11. Lemieux coming in for backhands here, and Boyon coming in to swing. And it's a short serve by Espedito into the net. And we've seen this double sub all weekend. As soon as we get to this third rotation where um, usually the setters coming, the quarter loss is coming into the front court. They do the double sub. They've done it all year, and it's been very successful for them. That's going to be one of their keys to success if they're going to find a way back in this set. Hugo Ouellette back to the service line, passed up by Edwards. Drybro to the right side. Espedito into the sea ball. And Liam Espedito continues to torch in this opening set. 21-14 is seventh point of this first set. He has continued to grow. I mean, I think he was three for like 15 with three errors on, in the, the quarterfinal, and he has improved so much. He's now six for eight. Jacob Sargent back to serve. Now it's a good one, but a pass up by Moisin. Lemieux to the outside, tipped over the top. It's going to go out of play. No contact on the block. It's going to be an attacking error on the far side by Gregoire Mercier Noel, and it's 22 14. The Gold Bears are just putting such pressure in from the service line and not missing very many serves. It's been very tough for this passing side on Sherbrooke. Jacob Sargent back to serve again. It's short into the net. That's definitely a sigh of relief here for Sherbrooke, but they've got to figure something out on their side of the net. So back to serve now for the DFAO is Elliot Colau. A float serve upcoming, it looks like based on the location of the serve receivers. It's intercepted there. Pass to the right side again, or out of the back row from Espedito. Lemieux to the C, uh, to the right side this time. Sent over by Doyon. Back to the left side, Heslinga! Straight down the line, over top of the block, Isaac Heslinga. And just uncharacteristic from Sherbrooke's side. A miss set, miss cue, setting over a free ball. They had two errors in the entire first set. They're compounding their errors right now. They need to find a way to get back to their match. But on the other side, Eslinga, what a shot. Flipping it down the line. There's no way anyone's going to stop that. He just hangs. He gets up there and he waits. He picks his side. and He doesn't need to swing all that hard when he's as accurate as he is. Graydon Weave on the serve. Lemieux to the outside and a good response back when it's dug up by Weave. Lemieux again to the outside and the attacking error this time by Mercier Noel, it's short into the net, and it's now set points, Alberta. Sherbrooke has completely lost their identity here. They, they, they're gonna need to figure something out in between sets here. So serving potentially to close out the set here is Graydon Weed. Deep float serve, it's gonna go out the back. Ooh. Didn't miss by much, but the service error there by Weave extends the set, and the double sub will come back in as Yohan David and Jonathan Portalons come back onto the floor for the Verreo, and it'll be Portalance to the service line. And you can see them talking on the floor. Let's try to build momentum. Let's go on a little bit of a run. Let's build momentum one point at a time as we look towards 
likely the second set. Yeah. These, even though this set is done and over, these points are still important for Sherbrooke. Sure, Portalaus. Ready to serve here for the Verneol. It's a deep serve received. Anchored by Sergeant Heslinga and Edwards. Passed up by Edwards. Drybro to the left side. Heslinga puts an end to the opening set. High ball set to that left side. Isaac Heslinga just gets up over top of the block once again. Able to find open space as he goes across. 25-16, the opening set victory to the Alberta Golden Bears. That was an absolutely dominant performance by the Golden Bears. That's the exact emotional response that they wanted to start with. They dominated in all categories, serving, passing, offensively, but especially on the block. Their big block shut down Sherbrooke, and now Sherbrooke has to go off and find themselves again. The Alberta Golden Bears take the opening set 25-16 and lead this national championship gold medal match one set to none. Join us back for the second set. You're watching the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships on CBC Sports. Mark Hayes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships. celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team. Welcome back to the Athletics and Recreation Center as we get set for the second set between the Alberta Golden Bears and the Sherbrooke Berreau. It was all Alberta in the opening set. They take it 25-16. Yeah, all Alberta early on. Their block was their key to success as they found a way early on to establish that block and put Sherbrooke in tough positions. Yeah, Sherbrooke has just completely lost their identity. Both the service pressure and the massive block by Johnson and Weeb has really put them off their kilter. Let's see if they can figure it out here in the second. Picked up by Espedito. Eslinga with a swing, but the block is set. Hollins comes over to help close. And it's Portalans and Julien Vanier closing on the block on Heslinga on the outside. I love the decision here by Fethi Ahmed to bring back Hollins in. He's a corner piece, cornerstone piece on this team, and that's a great response by Sherbrooke in the first point of the set. Jonathan Portalans back to serve now for Sherbrooke. A great serve as Edwards pulled off. High ball forearm set to the outside from Sargent. It's Swung across by Heslinga to the right side. David able to find the back corner. And Yohan David able to find the gaps inside the block. And hits off the hands of Sargent. And it's 2-0 for the VFAO. Just the response we were expecting out of Sherbrooke. They played well all year. We knew they would be coming out of that first set looking to make some big changes. And they rattle off two quick points early on. Yeah, the service pressure here from Jonathan Poltonance early. 
to Lawson. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Pass on received though by Edwards. Drybro to the outside. Heslinga! But it's blocked again. David, Vanier, Hollins to the floor. 3 nothing. Sherbrooke. Boys, I think we got ourselves a game. <laughs> oh, that is massive. Two massive blocks. And first, first set was Alberta in there blocking. Second set, Sherbrooke with the response. Portalons to serve once again. And it's into the net. He gives one back to the Golden Bears on the short serve into the net. Portalons is dying, dialing up the heat on that serving though a little bit. That's mar- remarkably faster than he was serving in the first set. Sam Drybro back to the service line now for Alberta. Float serve upcoming. It's a deep ball though. Pass from Portalance over to David. Bit of a miscommunication there. Drybro to the outside. Heslinga gets one back for the Golden Bears. Goes over top of the block this time does Isaac Heslinga. And as you talked about earlier, he seems to find a way to just hang, see where the block is, see where the defense is set up, and then make a shot. And then he always finds a way to get the open floor, especially one-on-one. It's really difficult to stop it. Back-to-back points now for Alberta off the tape. Passed up by Mercy and Noel, set back to the left side to David, and Johan David from the left side pin goes hard cross. Side out, Sherbrooke. I think David might have done some mental visualization halfway through that set. Imagine that he was playing in the Burridge because he's turned it up here. Great swing out of the left side pin by Johan David. Defeo back up by two, it's 4-2 with Holland back to the line. Lighter serve, Edwards passes up, Drybro to the right side, Heslinga! <laughs> Straight down again, does Isaac Heslinga, doesn't matter. Left side, right side, that time from the right side pin from Isaac Heslinga. Yeah, you can see in the block here too, Vanier stutter stepping, he's not read blocking, he's not commit blocking, he's caught in between, and that's because they established the middle early, and now Sherbrooke's got to adjust and find a way to either choose if they're committing or choose if they're going to read. Pass on received by Hollins to the outside, Mercy and Noel tipped over the top, sent back by Espedito. Moisai, high ball set in tight to Mercy and Noel, wipes off the block and recycles. Set to the right side, David! Off the arms of Drybro! And the heavyweight tilt continues here in the early part of this second set. Punch for punch this time by David. And David's back to where he was playing against in that semifinal and quarterfinal. He was ripping and swinging hard from both pins. That's what we saw earlier on in this tournament. They're going to really need to rely on him, especially in those out-of-system situations, to be able to go up against the big other to block. Julian Vanier. Dry bro. High ball up to Sargent. Off the top of the block. Kept alive, though, by Vanier. Now on an overpass. Johnstone takes first ball. Drybro outside. Sargent off the block. No. Point goes what to a, Sherbrooke. What a play there by Julien Vanier. That's what you love to see from your middle. Rips a spin serve and then makes a dig in the back row. Gotta love it. So the lead doubled up now for the Verreal. It's 6 3. With Julien Vanier to the service line. Deep serve received here from Alberta. Passed up by Edwards. It's an overpass though. Colau. Set to the left side, tipped over Mercy and Noel to recycle. Second ball, Vanier in tight to Mercy and Noel, tips over the top. Able to get there is Heslinga. Now up to Espedino, who's going to try to go for the block. Ed- Edwards on the overpass, yep. and Alberta called on the net. Espedino stepped underneath, trying to get back, back into position there. And just another point for the Valley All. When we have a completely flipped script here in set number two. Golden Bears take the timeout, trailing 7-3. to three. And again, it was all Alberta in that opening set, getting dominating sort of with their physical play. They were strong in the service line, strong at the net, strong attacking. Sherbrooke making some great adjustments in between sets and are now tra- or leading 7-3 to three early in the, in the second set. If we look at the hitting efficiencies from both teams, set number one, Alberta hits a 4-4-4, whereas it's a minus 0-3-2 for Sherbrooke. Set number two, a minus 1-4-3 for Alberta and a 4-4-4 for Sherbrooke just completely switched up and I love, absolutely love Sherbrooke's emotional response here. And so often you see that first set just get away from you and you lose a little bit. I love how they fought back here. Yeah, they really fought back. They completely went back to what they have done all year. Swing high hard. You know, I think the block early on really rattled their offense and, and they got away from what they would normally do. Tip, tipping, rolling, just swinging for the fences and blasting it out of bounds. 
Joanne David has completely changed the way in the style he's playing in this second set. Their offense is finally working all cylinders. And I think it's also because they've got the outsides more involved too. They passed a lot better. Mm -hmm. That's one of the then they're one of the keys to success. Because when they were two passing, going one on one on the outside, that's when they really struggled against a bigger block. Passing three passes and you have one blocker, it's really easy to yeah. score. I mean Sherbrooke has gone six and oh in sets in this tournament up at the point. But and I love back to Sir, passed off the tape. Dry row up to the right side to Espedito. It's kept alive on the poke by Heslinga. Sargent going to stay on top of it. Swings away, and Jacob Sargent. Alberta sides out. They're back within three at 7-4. I love that they went back to Sargent there. We just saw him make the error on the outside. They go back to him because as, as good as Heslinga is, they're going to need those other pieces like Sargent Espedito to step out big throughout this game. Billy Johnstone back to serve now for the Golden Bears. Float serve from Johnstone, passed it up by Moisin. Set to the left side, Mercier Noel, but it's picked up by Johnstone. High ball set, having to adjust inside his sergeant. They'll recycle and try again. Drybro, out of the pipe, Heslinga! Isaac, Heslinga out of the back. The speed at which they're running that. Like, Heslinga is in full flight by the time Drybro is setting that ball. Drybro is doing such a good job at running this offense. Look how quick this is. Oh. No block, too. It's just free swing for us, Linga, and he's going to score every time if there's no block. Serve again by Johnstone. Moisin Portalon set to David all the way across the court. Drybro, center of the pipe again to Heslinga. This time can't find the court. And the attacking error by Heslinga. And it's 8-5 for Sherbrooke. And something interesting you'll see right now in Sherbrooke's offense. Back-to-back -back times, they left the ball inside. Portalon has left them inside to draw the block in and try to beat them cross-court. It's had success a little bit early on. Looks for them to keep moving the ball around from pin to pin, whether it's on the wing or a bit tighter inside. Set to the outside, a tip down the line by Sargent. A great pass on server scene from Alberta to side out and bring it back to it in two. I absolutely love this. And Sargent is right back in this game as well. And both these teams are running at a full clip at the moment. 8-6, the advantage for Sherbrooke. As Liam Espedito back to the service line now for the Golden Bears. Good pace on the serve, but it's passed up by Mercy and Noel, who get the pipe to Hollins. Off the top of the block, and Zachary Hollins extends the lead back to three. It's 9-6. That's a huge swing from Hollins, finally getting involved in the offensive again. Not keeping it, not trying to do too much. High out the hands, out the back. Love it. Mercier Noel back to the service line now for the Sherbrooke FAO. It's a 9-6 lead. Trying to even this matchup at a set of peaks. Heslinga on first ball. He's going to swing on third. It's eaten up in the tape a little bit, but Sherbrooke able to come away with it. Sea ball set to David. Cross, but it's an attacking error out of the back row by Yohan David. He just tries to cut it too fine. You know, we've seen that a couple times with that big block. Sometimes they're going up and instead of chiseling off the block, mm -hmm. they're trying to take a sharp angle and it didn't work out that time. If I'm David and, and I'm in the front row, I want to challenge that block all day long. High to the top of those hands. Jacob Sargent back to serve now for Alberta, and it's long and out the back. Bit too much pace on the serve from Sargent. Doesn't quite get that ball to turn over. Can't find the back line, and it's a service error from number 13 for the Golden Bears. He'll take one of those once in a while. Sargent is one, definitely one of the best servers on this Golden Bears roster. The Elliot Colau back to serve now for the VFAO. Hand pass there by Heslinga, set to the right side to Espedito, and Liam Espedito with a quick side out for Alberta. Back to within two, and Espedito continues to have a strong afternoon and evening here in Kingston. Yeah, that was the first kill we saw so far this set. He started off early, probably having battling off five or six kills early on. That's the first time we said his name in this second set. And it's Weed back to serve now for Alberta, and it's short into the net. Service error that time by Graydon Wheat. Yeah, Alberta rattling off a couple of serve errors here. Not what you want to see when you're trying to get back into a match. 11 8 the advantage now after the miss serve from Weave. And as Jonathan Portalance back to the service line now for Sherbrooke. Deep serve received from the Golden Bears. Passed up in tight and making the adjustment. Dry row, it's a joust. Still there for the taking. Joust again. Johnstone gets back up. Heslinga swings away, and it's blocked. Collins, David, and 
and Vanier, 12 8 Sherbrooke. Rotation one is definitely where Sherbrooke has had the most success so far. And to me, it's really all on the pressure from Donata Popolas' serve. He's dialed it up here in set number two. He's a, such a good volleyball player. Just all the way around. Love it. 12 8 for Sherbrooke. Portalance swings away again. Dry road to the outside. Eslinga down the line, and what a pass on received by Jacob Sargent. The way he disguises that line charge and then is able to hit it so high, quick, and hard and snap it right to the, the end line, that's a, a, a world class swing right there. We talk so much about Heslinga's jump and his ability to float. We really don't talk enough about his arm talent as well. Drybro on the serve now for Alberta. Hand pass comes in tight. Good adjustment. No. Going to call Portalance on the lift. Thought it was maybe a good fix in tight there, but referee calls the lifts, and the point goes to Alberta. Based on what we've seen, uh, other non-calls on lift, that, that's surprising, based off what we've seen already this weekend. Back to the line now is Drybro. It's a deep serve, and they give one back on the service error this time by Sam Drybro. I think that's the fourth service error so far this set from Alberta. You know, they dialed up the pressure last set. Um, they're making too many errors from the service line right now this set. 13-10, the advantage for Sherbrooke. Zachary Hollins back to the line now for the FAO. It's a bit of a lighter serve. Pass comes in tight by Heslinga. And they get Heslinga on the right side. It swings away. Isaac Heslinga. Block scheme moving around there for the FAO. They try to come back and close. Get a contact on it, but tools off the block. Alex and I are both sitting here shaking our heads because the ease at which he passed that ball. It honestly, it looked like he was in serve and pass. Go up, get the kill, jog back to the serve. It is Heslinga now to the service line. Takes a bit of pace off. It comes in tight. Espedito. Ooh. A miscommunication there. A miss an execution there by Liam Espedito. And it's 14-11 for Sherbrooke. Now you have your opportunity there for a little bit of a party ball. He decided to try to play it instead. Got a little confused maybe with uh, Portalon's approaching, thinking he's going to set it. And then he got a little, you know, offhand, sidetrack, indecisive, and then the ball falls on their floor. Yeah, Alberta not nearly as tight here in set number two as they were in set number one. And that's an ace. Out of the serve by Julien Vanier. And the lead balloons up to four. And that'll have head coach Brock Davidoff taking a timeout to talk things over here. Both of their second timeouts taken before reaching 12 points in the set. They're trying to talk things over here and get settled back down, trailing by four. Well, there's something in these two rotations that uh, the Golden Bears have struggled with in this second set. We saw when they've gone on runs so far, it's when uh, Porta Moss has been at back of the line serving and also Vanier. So it's something they're getting stuck in these two rotations and somehow Sherbrooke's finding a way to go on runs. Yeah, this is where they're really strong with blocking in the front row on the first rotation with Ruth Kalal and then or Ruth Vanier and then now with Kalal. You've also got David in the front row. But going back to the serving, you love a middle who can rip a, a, a big ace like that. The fact that he's able to go back and continue the pressure right after Potanaz, those are two straight rotations that you know the Golden Bears are sweating in. But and it's very unique for their side, too. Vanier plays out of the six when he comes in on defense. Yeah. Not many middles play out of the six. And it just shows how versatile and how strong they are defensively to play across the whole backcourt. Well, on Friday night against Queens, he was tracking balls down in the back row. And for me, you know, I was talking to uh, 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 Jean, Jean-Louis uh, Potenas, who's the father of Jonathan Potenas, and just before we were watching the bronze medal game, he talks about how much these guys, all the Sherbert guys, and a lot of these guys come from Sherbert, really focused on beach from a young age. That's why you just see the all-around skill throughout the entirety of the roster, because they spend all summer on the sand. So coming out of the timeout, the serve from Vanier, passed up by Edwards. Wow, Edwards. Dry bro into the middle! Welcome to the set, Billy Johnstone. But what a pass by Edwards. I think that one went straight through the floor on the swing by Billy Johnstone. There's a few players who have really stepped up their games from the quarters and semis to now in the finals. Merrick Edwards and Billy Johnstone are two for me for Alberta who have really stepped up here today. And now Johnstone off of that attack will now go back to serve. Passed up by Moisin. Set to the right side. David answers right back the other way. 
Yohan David on the right side pin goes straight down the line. And you talk about arm swing, you talk about arm talking, you talk about Yohan David. He has <laughs> such a strong arm. Look at him facing the cross court and just whipping that <laughs> ball down the line. That's a big man swing. <laughs> He's a man. 16-12 and it's now David back to serve and it's into the net. I think that's one where you're going to want to see him go back and maybe just put it in, put a little bit of pressure on. If you're Sherbrooke, it's only benefiting you to give the ball to, to Alberta and hopefully play, play some defense on it. Liam Espedito back to serve now for Alberta. It is a three-point lead for Sherbrooke. Passed up by Hollins. Portalance to the outside. Mercier Noel, and it's recycled, picked up by Moisin. Set over, going to get thrown over on the free ball. Passed up by Weeb. Set to the left side and tight. Sergeant. Able to adjust to the set in tight, and they seize the gap on the outside block set there and turns down the line, 16-14. Sargent showing up just when you need him. Almost thought they were going to be setting weave there, but Sargent nicely, even though he had the one-on-one, -on -one, just make the easy play, tip to the open spot down the line. Espedito to serve once again here for Alberta. Passed up by Mercier Noel, Portalance, just straight up to David. Able to stay with it, though, as Heslinga off the top of the block to the outside. Sargent! Cuts inside the block and finds it inside the attack line on a great swing by Jacob Sargent. And it's within one, and we'll get our double sub up coming here now as Lemieux and Doyon coming back onto the floor for Portalance and Davi. Yeah, Dryborough were doing such a good job at keeping that ball fast to the outside, a little bit inside. So as Sargent is attacking it, Vanier, or sorry, Kalal is just trying to do anything he can to close that block, and Sargent has easy pickings off the inside of the block. So Alberta trailing by three, now back to within one at 16-15. Tossed by Liam Espedito, passed up by Hollins. Lemieux into the middle, off the top of the block, able to get there is Edwards. Drybro, left side, Sargent tips it back over, and it's kept alive, sent back over on the free ball, they'll reset again. And Alberta put it away into the middle, Great and Weave! And we're tied at 16. And there's been a great response here off the back of the serve, Liam Espedito, and he continues to be fantastic. He's been the best serve for Alberta all tournament long. He's forcing Sherbert to call that timeout. So it's now the VFAO to take the timeout. We're tied at 16 points apiece. Right now, Sherbert has to go back, settle their nerves a bit, and start treating the serve almost like a date. Right, and you just need to go. You know that you're one of the best out-of-system teams in the country? Just go to out-of-system out here. Yeah, just try, try to get a two-pass. Try to get out of this rotation. Force a good guy like David earlier on in this tournament. We saw David be almost more successful from the sea ball than he was in the front court, right? So they really have him fully as an option right now as well. So you just need to get a ball up in the air where you can work it to the pins and rely on your hitters to make and score a point. So 16 points apiece, and that is both timeouts have been taken by the Alberta Golden Bears. Still one in the back pocket here for Sherbrooke as we now are approaching into the midway stages of this second set. Again, it was Alberta taking the opening set by a nine-point margin, 25 to 16. But a great response to start the second set by Sherbrooke. But an even better response for Alberta to close the gap, and we're now tied at 16. Yeah, Alberta was almost negative 200, and they've boosted up now to hitting a 292. That is a fantastic job, and once again, I think Sam Drabro has a lot to do with it. Liam Espedito. Back to serve now for Alberta. A high toss by Espedito. It's going to go into the stands and the ace. Liam Espedito gives Alberta the lead at 17-16. Well, we just saw a fantastic serving performance by uh, um, Eric Cisna. But Espedito is, is up to the task right now. So the advantage back to Alberta. And it's Espedito to the line trying to steal another one. Passed up by Hollins. What a great pass on receive to the outside. And the response by Doyon. The lefty on that left side pin comes hard cross and we're tied at 17. And welcome to the game, Doyon. That's the first set to him so far this match. And he absolutely pounds it cross court for the kill. 17 points apiece in the second set of the U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championship gold medal match. Passed up. Off the hands of Heslinga, gets it back! And Heslinga out of the back row. Advantage back to the Golden Bears. 
they run more pipe than any team in this entire tournament. And it might be because they have the best player in the tournament, but it's unbelievable how fast and how often they run that pipe. It really makes it difficult on the blocking on, on Sherbrooke's side to be able to know if it's coming from the front, the back, or out on the wings. Yeah, especially with the way Escobedo's been hitting that C ball as well too. When they're in system, they have four solid options. Serving south for Alberta was Luke Waddell, but it goes into the net. That'll bring Jacob Sargent back onto the floor. Tied at 18 points apiece as Waddell tried to steal a couple from the line with an aggressive spin serve as the serving sub. Doesn't work out in Alberta's favor that time, but it'll go back to Sherbrooke and Elliot Corral to the line. It's a deep float serve. Drybro out of the pipe again. Touch on the way through. They're going to say no. And it's an attacking error out of the back row this time from Heslinga. And it's 19-18 for Sherbrooke. Rather attacking error by Sargent there. He tried to come through. They tried to go to a different left side that time. Now that Hessling is in the front court. 19-18 is the advantage. Deep serve by Colau. He's going to give one right back. And we're tied at 19. Yeah, I would love to see him just put it in play. Especially at this point of the game. You're hitting a float serve. That's not much pressure. Just put it in play some defense. Braden Weave. Back to the service line now for Alberta. Tied at 19 points apiece. Good serve by Weave mm. as Mercier Noel mishandles it a little bit. Hollins with a roll over the top. Espedito gets our first ball. Dry roll to the outside. Heslinga puts an end to the rally and a great find again with a set selection and location by Sam Drybro. That's the way Sherbrooke wants to play, right? It's not a perfect set, so they try to roll it and rely on their defense. But sometimes it's difficult when you have the best player in the country who's going to flip it right back and swing full on against your defense. Braden Weave is served now for Alberta. Hollins, pass with the hands. Back to Hollins on the left side. Good pick up though by Sargent. Back to Heslinga. Isaac Heslinga down the line again. And what a defensive scramble there by Jacob Sargent to keep it alive. Driver finds Hessling on the outside. Timeout, Sherbrooke. The one-handed dig there by Jacob Sargent was just outstanding. Doing what a P2 needs to do, take care of the ball defensively. And we see it on the replay, what a move. And then Hesslinga, just straight OT. Not, it's not even close. He has the full 81 square meters to swing at. So it's a three-point run back the other way now for Alberta, who take a 21-19 advantage and force Sherbrooke into their second of two timeouts. No. Alberta taking the opening set 25-16 and now lead by two late in the second. And CBC Sports is the home of university sports in Canada. Catch the gold medal game of the 2024 GFL U Sport Women's Hockey Championship presented by Connect Energy tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on CBC and Gem, CBC Sports, and CBC Sports app. U Sport on CBC. Chase the glory. Right now, Alberta is chasing the glory as they were down. I think four or five early on in this set, guys. And they've come back now lead by two. If you're a Golden Bears fan, this is exactly what you want to see. And they have the potential to take a stranglehold here on this match. Both teams train being down at this point. Yeah. 21-18 is a key point. Or 21-19, either or, is a key thing for both sides. Mm -hmm. Both starters would have practiced about this and try to find ways of how we can claw our way back into this set. Braden Weave to the service line. Passed up by Mercy and Noel to the right side to Doyon. Passed up by Weave, Drybro to the left side. Heslinga rolls this time. The recycle, but Johnstone gets caught up in the net. And he had a bit more patience, allow the ball to roll towards mm -hmm. him, but tried to make sure that he was there to make contact, but able to clip into the net. Yeah, that was a tough one. As a middle, you know, you you always want to keep those those, that, those balls alive. You don't want to be uh, given the moniker of one of those big dub middles. 21-20 is the advantage for Alberta. With Portalons back to serve. Passed up by the receive of the Alberta Golden Bears to the outside. Heslinga gets up over top. Going to get called on the net. And Isaac Heslinga knew right away. And this is the rotation that Sherbrooke wants. And this is what you talked about earlier, Alex. And I see you're giving the T, trying to almost will uh, Brock Davidar to call that time out there. Yeah, it's front court hands, right? They have two options. If they don't pass well, you know the ball's going out to Hasinga, and they have put two or three blockers on him out there. Back to serve once again is Portalons. Passed up by Edwards. Drybro, overload to Heslinga. 
on the recycle, Haslinga <laughs> puts it back on the overpass, Alberta back in front. He's just so high, he just went right over the top of the middle blocker there, easily for the kill. And he's so springy too, he gets up there so quickly. 22-21 is the advantage, and it's dry row back to serve for Alberta. Deep float serve, Mercier Noel passes that one up, Portelance back to the left side to David, off the block and it lands in! And that's a few times now that Drybro has served high over the top of Mercier Noel, down the pin uh, on that five side, and still Sherbrooke hasn't adjusted that service lead. 23-21, and both teams have used both of their timeouts. We'll have to sort things out the rest of the way on the floor. As Drybro back to serve once again for Alberta. Hand pass there by Hollins, and then Hollins takes the swing off of Johnstone, picked up by Drybro, and that's gonna be hit the floor. Yeah, he does go to Sherbrooke. You can tell by the way that driver reacted when he got up that he, he didn't get that one up. Still a one point advantage here for Sherbrooke and Zachary Hollins back to serve now. Well, we are going to see a quick sub here at the last minute. Wallet coming in in place of Nassie Noel. Noel. Must be a blocking sub coming here. They must see something different on the tape. They want a stronger blocker out there on the pin or Haslinga swinging on that side. And they had Hugo Houlette came in in the first set for Zachary Hollins and now does the same for Mercier Noel. Hollins back to serve, takes a bit of pace off of it. Passed up to the right side now to Heslinga. Straight out the back, no contact on the block set by Sherbrooke. And we're even seeing Sherbrooke pull the fire up there with Yoen David on the left side and throwing Wanette on the right. Yeah, we've seen it before in this tournament where they want to get best on best matchups mm -hmm. and they move Yoen David around because he might be one of their best blockers on the floor and they want to match him up against Kislinga. 23 points apiece. Collins to serve, gonna pace off again as Sargent passes up to Heslinga again, straight down, and Heslinga scores the point and Sherbra called on the net. It is now set point for Alberta. But so Heslinga was just OT, he's over the top there, he's so high. Uh, you know, Sherbra's middles aren't huge, right? But Heslinga's just getting so high up there, they gotta rely on the backboard and the guy in six to try to pick that up. But he has so many shots in his arsenal that it makes it so difficult. He's only swinging like 16, 80, 70 percent too, but he's so precise and has so much time to make a decision. Heslinga to try to serve out the set here for Alberta, it's into the net. And we're going extras, 24-24. Yeah, the Sherbert fans are going wild over there with their balloons and boobazales. They travel well. Sherbert only a few hours down the road here. Juliette Vanier back to serve now for Sherbrooke. Try to get some separation here and take the advantage. A toss. Swung away. It's picked up by Sargent. Going to set back to Sargent. Has to adjust and send over the free ball. Passed up Kolal to the right side. David! Straight down the line, Yoan David, it's 25-24, Sherbrooke. Very uncharacteristic of Alberta, especially at this point in the game, to give up a free ball like that. But Yoan David, as we talked about, his shoulder is so elastic, and he finds a hard swing down that line. Not only Yoan David, but once again, Julien from the baseline. He has been so good this set on serve. And it is Vanier with an opportunity to serve out the set, passed up by Sargent. Second ball taken by Heslinga. High ball to the outside. The sergeant off the block. Picked up. Going to get sent back over. Gets sent back on the block in tight. Staying on top is sergeant, but it's blocked. Elliot Colau set goes to Sherbrooke. 26 24. Sherbrooke so active at the front of the net. One block, two block, three block. Finally, Yoan David finishes it off. What an end to set number two. And this has become a best out of three. What an unbelievable set there from Sherbrooke. They completely changed their style of play. Everett, you talked at the beginning saying, we're going to need to see a whole different look from the Sherbrooke team. They brought it that entire set, and they found a way to come out with a victory in the end. What's even more impressive, though, is that they went out to that big lead. Alberta came back, and even once Alberta was leading up in by two, they never gave up, stayed strong, and now we're all tied up at one. Outstanding second set between the Sherbrooke Bechio and the Alberta Golden Bears. Join us back for the third. You're watching the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships presented by Mikasa on CBC Sports. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. 
Mark Hees here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's new sports national championships. They don't do it for the likes or for the shares. They do it for the fun of it, for the thrill, for the camaraderie, for the memories. CBC Sports, just because they love it. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be there. Parce que le sport, c'est bien plus que des résultats. C'est aussi des analyses et des dossiers qui nous plongent au cœur d'un univers complexe et en mutation. C'est vraiment incroyable. Suivez les actualités sportives sur RadioCanada.ca et sur l'appli Info. Welcome back to the U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships here in Kingston, Ontario, presented by Macassa on CBC Sports. Kyle Koppel joined alongside by Alex Elliott and Everett Delorme. Great two sets to start this match, and it's now a best of three, as we mentioned. And what an outstanding matchup between two of the very best programs in men's volleyball in the country. Yeah, Alberta ran away with that first one, but Serbo stayed strong, came back in the second, and and CBC Sports is the home of University Sport in Canada. It's late in the gold medal game between Alberta Pandas and the UBC Thunderbirds on CBC Gem. We invite you to open a second window and stream it on your mobile device while we continue to watch our coverage of GFL U Sport Women's Hockey and Men's Volleyball here on CBC Sports. First set, first serve of the third set from the Jeff Mayor. The swing comes through from Alberta. And they take the opening point of this third set. They moved that fast pipe so well there. As Eslingo was like, that was in the, the, the one sixteen. Billy Johnstone back to serve now for Alberta. Float serve, passed up by Moisey. Portalans to the right side. Hollins tips off the block and recycles. Portalans has a look and see where the blocks are. Goes to the outside and the swing by David. Espedito keeps it alive. Good cross-court swing. Heslinka going to say out Ooh. of bounds. On the swing goes past the sideline for the attacking air. Super impressive with him being able to swing so hard and aggressively on his scramble play out of the pipe, but he isn't able to find the four as it just skips out the sideline. Smart play to leave it by Portalans. Zachary Hollins now back to serve for Al excuse me, for Sherbrooke. Takes a bit of pace off this time. Passed up by Heslinga to the outside. Sargent off the top of the block. Moisin able to get there. It's a little bit tight. Portalans adjusts. No contact. They're going to say yes. Contact off the Ooh. block on the swing. And it's 2-1 Sherbrooke. Yeah, Jacob Sargent pulling great and weed saying back. Yeah, I had to touch on that. Great eye, but eye there by Ryan Bunyan. Zachary Hollins back to the line to serve once again. But what a great set for Portalance. Find David on that right side. It's a flip serve this time off the hands there. Peslinga kept alive and just tipped over by Graydon Weave. Portalance to the right side. Mercier Noel off the block and out of play into the seventh row. Yeah, he got domed there a little bit. Probably arms too wide, came through. It almost looked like it connected on the top of the head as it explodes into the crowd. I love that set he went right back uh, with Nassim Noel once again for this set too. Obviously they have a lot of trust in Wanette because they're quick to bring him in, but they have a lot of trust in their starters. Collins to serve again, this time out the back. He's got a bit of a hybrid, he can turn it on a little bit, has a bit of a tricky float and also can get some spin to go that time. 
kind of caught in no man's land a little bit with both and goes out the back. It's 3-2. This is a huge rotation here uh, for Alberta as Espedito has been massive from the baseline all time long. Liam Espedito back to serve. Passed up by Moise. It's a great pass. Portolos to David. Outside the block, set up by Sargent. And Yoan David continues to heat up. He's killing him down that line. I'm surprised Alberta hasn't adjusted. Even though one on one, it's really tough to take away just the line because they have so much space in the cross court. But Yoan David has almost four, five, six straight kills swinging down that line. Sherbrooke, three for five early in this third set. Shinian Vanier back to serve once again here for Alberta. And it's into the net. It's on the service error. That's a big side of the lead, too, for the Golden Bears when Van Yee puts it into the net. Jacob Sargent back to serve now for Alberta. It's a one-point Sherbrooke advantage. Spinner up coming by Sargent. Behind the ball gives the service error right back. As a team trade points, and it's 5-3. Yeah, that is the 10th serve error for Alberta in this match. Yoan David back to the service line now for Sherbrooke. Only six for Sherbrooke. Right toss by David. It will stay behind the ball as Espedito gets over but runs out of real estate. And the ace to Sherbrooke. And it's 5-3 for the BFAO. A great rip by there by David just swinging on full on. It wasn't 100% shot, it almost 80% and it found them. Uh, the libero having to move a bit too far forward and that's why he had the shank out of bounds. That's one of the identities of Sherbrooke, just keeping everything so precise. A strong serve by David, but a pass up well by Sargent. Out to Heslinga. Tracking along the net there was Espedito. Drybro back to Heslinga on the left side. Called on the net, are Sherbrooke Defeo on the block. Would have liked to see Hollins make the dig there if that ball was alive. I think that was a ball that he could have dug in the back row. Brayden Weave back to serve now for Alberta. They're back to within two. At what point do you just make it this the Isaac Haslinga show? He's already got 19. Weave on the serve. Good swing by <laughs> David out of the back row, though. Yohan David flies out of the sea and swings down the line. He's just detonating on those balls down the line. They really need to move that block out because he's scored every single time he hit that line and they're leaving it wide open. They got two blockers there, fully close. And they're leaving the line wide open and he absolutely explodes on it. I mean, usually you're gonna have a libero over there, but at that point you're gonna great and weave. And I think he's pretty decent on defense, but. Mercier Noel with a float serve, passed up. Set to the sea ball, Espedito. Good <laughs> dig, though, by Mercy and Noel. Portolos keeps trying to recycle off the block, but Johnstone there for the block in the middle. One of a, a rare setting error there by Jonathan Portolos. I didn't like how he decided to close himself off instead of opening himself up. As we'll see, he's real tight to the net. He only gave him himself one, one uh, opportunity, and Billy Johnstone was all over it. Dry bro with the serve for Alberta, pass in tight. Adjustment Portolas that time and goes to Elliot Collard. And on that time through, maybe the only option that Portolas had there was to go parallel to the net. In a smart repeat set there. Well, guy gets blocked, gets stopped. I'm gonna repeat and force him to score yeah. and force Alberta to think about that middle stone. And even better, just it's not gonna work in the front. Let's just go to the back and figure it out. 8-5, the lead now for Sherbrooke. Good serve by Collard. Passed up, set into the middle. Johnstone with the swing out of the middle as Drybro finds his middle coming across, and it's Billy Johnstone converts. It's 8 6. Good swing there out of the middle again. Johnstone coming right back, and you know, you're going to score on me, I'm going to score right back on you. He's not going to let him one up him at that point. 8 6 the advantage, and Isaac Heslinga back to the service line for the Golden Bears. Trying to close the gap. It's served by Hessling. Wow. It's a good scoop by Hollins. Sent over and they recycle. Portalance to the sea ball to David. Great dig back the other way by Drybro. Eyeball set up top and just throws it into the block and it's a scramble back the other way. Second ball taken by David. Hollins off the block. Wow. Sherbrooke stays the course. They're up. 9-6. This is incredible volleyball, boys. You got digs on either side. Big plays. Back and forth. How could you not love this? 
there's a reason both these teams are in the gold medal match. They just are able to scramble so well, so aggressive, so high and hard. This is a great gold medal match so far. Jonathan Portalons back to the line. It's a three-point advantage for Sherbrooke. Portalons out the back, gives one right back on the service error. He almost fell forward on that one as he tossed it too far forward. He almost had to jump into the middle of the court in order to hit that one. Yeah, man, he, he needs a man to serve because his serve is so deadly and has caused so much problems for Alberta so far. Billy Johnstone back to serve now for Alberta. They have a two-point deficit to overcome. Passed up by Hollins into the middle. Julien Vanier puts the ball through the floor. Back up by three. It's 10-7. One thing we haven't talked about yet is uh, the Golden Bears did flip, it looks like, or, or maybe Sherbrooke flipped, flipped their offense because normally when Portland was serving, you had Helsinga swinging out of the left side. So someone made a change, they made an adjustment, and we're seeing different matchups right now for both sides. Hollins with a deep serve, passed up by Heslinga. Drybro to Sargent, off the block, they recycle. Second ball again by Heslinga into Sargent, again off the block, and it's scooped up by Edwards. Espinito back to Hes or Sargent for the third time, dug up by Portalons. Back to David, wipes it through, and Yohan David. 11-7, Sherbrooke. Just the patience of Sherbrooke. It's not going to work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. They always seem to find a way. Timeout taken by Alberta as the defensive prowess of the Berreau mm. on full display and a good cut inside there by David. But it's just shocking the way Sherbrooke um, forces teams to play a bit differently. Normally, you know, you have your outside swing all the way out at the pin. Mm -hmm. They're comfortable playing that ball inside and letting their players be versatile. You know, a lot of them we've talked about had maybe a bit of a beach back down background. They're able to chip, roll, cut, mm -hmm. and they're used to hitting out of any position on the floor. There, they run the left side ball, high ball, in the middle of the court, and he comes in and he tips it in between the middle and right side blocker and finds a way to score. It's a very unique style that not many teams have seen or play against. They just have such a solid base in their skill and their IQ of the game that allows them to open things up when need be that when they're, they're so solid that when athletic plays like that present themselves they work so well together they're able to execute almost every single time coming out of the timeout it's an 11-7 advantage here for the Sherbrooke Bethel again it was all Alberta in the opening set they take it 25-16 and a great response in the second by Sherbrooke outlasting Alberta 26-24 and now a four-point gap in the early stages of this third set in what's become a best of three for the national championship. Hollins with the serve, passed up by Heslinga. To the right side, Espedito off the block. And a side out by the Bears coming out of the timeout. They like, still run it so fast. He, the center was pushed all the way back to four, and he fired it back there to Espedito to find a way to get that kill. And I love that they go back to Espedito there. Just open things up. No need to go back to Heslinga. Open up the offense a little bit. Can Hespedito steal one from the line? Passed up by Moisey. They run the pipe to Hollins. Has to adjust with the set a little bit behind him. Sargent off the block. Nobody there for the Golden Bears. And it drops to the open floor. It's 12-8. Exactly. Moisey, Friday night's MVP, really up to the task there. And the, one, the, the fact that they were able to one and done Espedito on the baseline is massive. Bit of floor maintenance here on the Alberta side. 12-8 is the lead now for Sherbrooke. And back to serve is Julien Vanier. He's been strong from the line. Takes a bit of pace off this time. Passed up well by Heslinga. Set to Espedito off the block again. And Liam Espedito responds right away. And keeping him active out of the back row, out of the front row. It's going to be huge to Continue yeah. to add some secondary offense here for the Golden Bears. Golden Bears are going to love to see that because they want to be able to spread that offense out a bit by keeping them involved in the backcourt. It's going to open things up for Heslinga in the front. That's number nine for Escobedo. Passed up by Holland, set into the middle this time. Good oh. pick up by Sargent. Forearm pass back by Espedito, staying on top of it is Heslinga. Set into the corner, Portalans into the middle. And a great swing again, Elliot Colau off the arms of Edwards and into the stands. But just unbelievable volleyball. I can't believe that dig they had off that first quick. Sergeant, yeah. Sergeant, unbelievable dig to get the ball back over the net, but then the repeat set, it go back to the middle, and he finds a way to get the kill. Great so, play. So much quality all around. 
Joan David back to serve for Sherbrooke. Passed up well by Heslinga into the middle. And the cut by Graydon Weeb over top of the block. And it's 14 9. Isaac Heslinga once again with the absolute dime off the big serve by Joan David. And it's those types of plays that you don't ever really see on the stat sheet but are massive throughout the course of the match. 13 10, the advantage here for Sherbrooke. With Graydon Weeb back to serve. Pass at Mercy and Noel. Set back to Mercy and Noel on third contact. Just has to roll it over. Drybro to the left side, and it's a good scoop defensively by Hollins. Pass comes in tight again. In the joust one by Sam Drybro, and the Bear Golden Bears are back to within two. Why do setters seem to win every joust? Anytime you see a joust going up, somehow the setters get the advantage. Maybe because they're used to setting the ball manipulating the ball so often that time he just flicks it right off his hands and out of bounds yeah absolutely love it i have loved this play of sam dry bro when you think to the beginning of the season he was a libero and he was like put me in coach one time when they needed setters he's been huge for them portalons oh. with the dump pass comes in tight to the tape and portalons seeing where the defensive scheme and coverage was set up for alberta able to execute find the pot wide open great decision by Jonathan Portalance. That's one of the first classic dumps that we've seen by a setter. I've seen a lot of two-handed dump flushes mm -hmm. when the setter's been facing the net. That was the first time I saw a one-handed flush and it scored easily. Back to serve now is Greg Mercier Noel. Into the tape. And it's a service error from Sherbrooke. This is the moment of the set where you can feel maybe Sherbrooke just takes their foot off the gas just a little bit with that serving error. Sam Dryro back to serve now for Alberta. The shallow serve received here from the Vecchial. And it's off the tape, passed up by Mercy and Noel. Portalos to the outside. Hollins tips down the line. Just great identification of where the defensive scheme was set up there from Hollins, able to find gaps in the back. And Portalos did a great job. He's calling 51 for Vanier coming in, or, or Colaire, sorry, coming saying run a 61 and then I'll run it inside 22 and then find a quick way to score because we've got the middle blocker dragged over on the follow. 15-12 by for Sherbrooke. Passed up by Edwards. Has to get there as Drybro. Just a high ball set to Espinito. Off the top of the block. Able to get there as Mercy and Noel. Seaball. David. Great pick up back the other way by Drybro. Portalos into the middle. Julien Vanier. Puts an end to another outstanding rally between these two sides. Now it's going to create a four-point spread there by Sherbrooke. As, oh, my goodness. And once again, we're used to seeing Sherbrooke be the defensive team. And right now, no slights against Alberta's defense. They've been fantastic, but Sherbrooke has just been so tight offensively. Yeah, that's the exact Sherbrooke team that we saw in the quarters and the semifinals. Just swinging, banging balls, just absolutely bounces coming from their side. Um, they're finally getting back to that as Alberta, Alberta's block has gone silent. They haven't been able to get anything, and I really think it's due to the serving pressure. Right now, Sherbrooke is passing dimes. They're getting full options. They're getting full swings on everything. That first set, Alberta's serving pressure was so high that Sherbrooke was like, getting two balls, two passes, and then it was you know two, three blocks on the outside. It's been a tale of two stories so far in this match. Alberta hitting a 263 in this set, seven for 19, whereas Sherbrooke, unreal, 20, 12 for 22, hitting 50% on 16 points. So six Alberta coach Brock Davidek. And you are watching the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championship Tournament here held at the Queen's Athletics and Recreation Center, presented by Mikasa and presented on CBC Sports. And congratulations to the UBC Thunderbirds Women's Volleyball, who are now crowned the 2024 U Sports gold medalists with a three sets to one victory over the Alberta Pandas. A repeat. Set to the right side, off the top of the block, able to keep it alive as Mercy and Noel. Set to the right side to David, out of the back row, and Yoan David powers through, and it's 17-12. And they found a way to slow down his slinga. Not many teams have been able to do that all year. They found a way to get lots of hands on him, stuff blocked him a couple times, and then their transition is just so good and so efficient. And all you have to do is set it back to David, and he finds a way to score. Elliot Cola on the serve here for Sherbrooke. Off the arms of Heslinga and into the scorer's table for the ace. That was a, that was a big flex there by Cadal after that service. Ace has 
I've been extremely impressed by the middle serving in general from this tournament, but this floater from Kadal was absolutely deadly. The lead up to six now for Sherbrooke. 18 12, and Kadal back to serve again. Good pass up though by Edwards. Dry row into the middle to Johnstone. Tools off hands and out of play, back to within five. That was like a left side swing up there. Just mean and hard right into that block and out of, out of bounds. Just using that left side. Paulins and Vanier were all over that. They knew that was coming and still they couldn't stop it. Isaac Heslinga back to serve now for Alberta. Passed up by Moisin. Portelance pushed to the far side to Hollins. Hard cross back the other way. Zachary Hollins, it's back to six. Heslinga has been serving so much better in this match, but it seems almost always to be neutralized by Zachary Moisin. But then also the push to the outside there for Portelance was pure poetry. Jonathan Portelance back to serve now, which brings Yohan David into the front row. And it's a 19-13 advantage for the RCQ champs. Edwards, high ball set with the forearms to Sargent. They recycle. Heslinga picks it up. Dry bro to the right side. Espedito straight down the line. And what a response by Liam Espedito. That last pass flick to the right side for Espedito has been so effective for the Golden Bears. They need to start passing a bit better mm -hmm. as we move throughout this set because we haven't seen that, that speed in that right side set since the first set when he had five or six kills in a row. Mm -hmm. And that's just because they're not passing efficiently enough to get him as involved in the front court. Yeah, that's number 11 there for Espedito as well. Billy Johnstone to serve now for the Golden Bears. Hand pass now but to the outside, off the block. And the block scheme back up and running here for Alberta. That's actually Enes Besarevich who's been subbed in the middle there for in, in place of Graydon Weeb. We saw that sub, the same sub happen at last year's Nationals. And Besarevich getting his first taste of action here. Venus Besarevich from Australia. Set to the right side ball, and it's a cross-court swing by Hollins. Unable to keep this balance, trying to go cross, and it's wide of the court. And Alberta quietly chipping away here, and they're back to within three. It's 1960. I absolutely love these responses. It feels like no lead is safe in this match, Kyle. 19-16. Back to serve again is Johnstone for the Golden Bears. Passed up by Moisin. John out to the outside port. Oh, it's in a great dig. Passed up by Billy Johnstone. Out of the back, Heslinga. Changes his mind mid-direction. Swing across, and it's swung there by Ilan David. Great defensive sequence by the Golden Bears, but staying the course is Sherbrooke. They get another crack at it. A great swing. It's a deep swing by Johan David. And Heslinga is coming up a bit laboring there as the ball kind of got trapped a bit under his shoulder. Hope, to, hope he's okay and they can get right back in the set. 27 digs so far for Alberta, but unfortunately most of them haven't been conferred of offensively into transition points. 20 to 16 with Collins back to serve. Passed up by Edwards. Set to the right side ball, Espedito. In a position there was Hollins, but off hands and into the stands. Yeah, it brings was... Espedito back to the line. A very tough server, as ever you've talked about a lot so far this set. This is a massive rotation here. This is one of those crucial points here in set number three. 20 to 17 with Espedito to the service line for the Golden Bears. And oh. it's well out oh. the back oh. by Liam Espedito. And you can see how important that was for Sherbrooke. Can you see how uh, animated their bench is at the moment? We have not seen an era like that from Espedito all, all weekend. Which brings Julien Vanier back to the service line with a 21-17 advantage. Trying to create additional separation here late in the set. And it's Vanier giving one right back. Too much pace, not enough turn, and it's a service error. And the Alberta bench giving it right back to the Sherbrooke bench. Yeah, I love it. I love the fact that U Sports has now allowed them to venture in a little bit and play by play. Just, you know, talk a little smack, get the boys going, and go back to the end of the bench at game time. Luke Waddell in to serve once again here for Alberta. Came in in the opening set, didn't have much success, but a great serve this time when Zion picks it up. Portalance, high ball to David off the top of the block. Dry row to the outside, having to adjust as Heslinka, but unable to keep it in play. 
22-18. That's a rare miscue from the Alberta offense, and Drybero has been so precise and in rhythm with his setting. They try to run it so fast sometimes, yeah. though. I think has like a coach almost like it's a 31 mm -hmm. at times there, and it just kind of got up and out, and they wasn't able to save it. Sargent back into the game for Alberta with David serving. Overpass there by Sargent. Oh. And a wow. miscommunication that time from Sherbrooke is trying to go up and play it was Mercier Noel. But to go back to that play with Heslinga at the net, I would almost rather you see him just run him a straight high ball, right? If you run him fast, Sherbrooke is going to be able to pick up. They're fast blockers. They may not be that high, but they're going to be fast. I'd rather see you just chuck him up for him, let him go, and do his thing. 22-19, the advantage for Sherbrooke. Weave to serve for Alberta. Pass in tight. Portelance to the outside. Mercier Noel dances along the tape and falls out of play off the block from the Golden Bears. It's 23-19. What a response from Mercier Noel off that first the sort of miscue as he jumped to get it. Way for Portelance going back to the going back to him. Very smart decision and unbelievable swing right off the middle blocker. And it is now Mercier Noel to the service line. Brings Hollins back into the front row. Passed up by Edwards. What a great pass on receive. They set to Espedito. Good pass though by Moisin. To the outside to Hollins. Rolls over the top. Picked up by Sargent. Set to the left side. Isaac Heslinga off the block. Recycles. Drybro. Back to Heslinga. Triple block over the top. David gets there. Portalos back to Yohan David out of the sea. Just out the back. Oh, I do not agree with that call. Wow. Oh my goodness. What a swing by Yohan David to stay aggressive out of the sea ball after taking first contact there as Portalos comes back. We got a second look. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a little too fast to tell there, but that, that looked a little into me. Wasaya on first ball. Portalos to the outside to Hollins off the block. They can't scramble. Portalos able to get second ball. And will we see our double sub upcoming at least one half of it? It'll be a timeout first taken by Sherbrooke, but we saw Doyon motioning towards coming onto the floor. We'll see if we get at least one half of the double sub coming after the timeout. And all of a sudden, Everett, you know, two points in a row, really quickly, bang, bang, you know, game of inches, calls can go either way, and all of a sudden, it turns into, a, instead of 24-20, it's now a two-point game. Yeah, absolutely, and you see that it's so important that if you don't think the call is going your way, you got to reset. you got to reset immediately, and clearly, Sherbrooke not, Sherbrooke not able to reset there, but a fantastic call there by Fethi Ahmed to call that timeout, settle things down, let the boys take a breath or two, and then go back and be able to push towards the end of the set. 23-21. It is the first of two timeouts taken by Sherbrooke, so still have one in their pocket here. Both timeouts from the Golden Bears have been used, but are continuing to chip away here and coming out of the timeout. See if the Vefeol can settle things back down and push to close out this set. A pivotal third set. Alberta taking the first, Serbo taking the second, and it's now into a best of three. And last time in this rotation, they ran 61, and then they ran the left side set inside. Let's see, he's showing the same side again. He's running 61. I wonder if they're going to run Collins inside again on this play. Dry roll. Back to serve now for Alberta. Pass comes inside. They set out of the pipe to Mercier Noel. Able to get there as Edwards, but too much pace on the swing out of the back row. Such a good pickup, Alex. You saw all four Sherbrooke attackers really in motion on that. Hollins with the perfect pass and such a good emotional response there by the Vatial. Set point for Sherbrooke. It is Elliot Collard. Back to the service line to give Sherbrooke a two sets to one advantage. Collard with a float serve. Passed up by Heslinga. Set to Heslinga on the right side. And Isaac Heslinga keeps Alberta alive. It's 24-22. Bit of a mismatch there, right? You have Heslinga who's so high. And Hollins is a great player, a great blocker. But he's just not high enough, right? And Heslinga going up against him is just going to be able to take it over the top. And it'll bring Isaac Heslinga back to the service line here for Alberta. Keep them alive in this set. It's a roll serve. Pass up in tight by Mercier Noel to the left side. Hollins! Sherbrooke's up. Two sets to one. What an absolute dime pass on that serve. Full spread across the floor, and it's still a four pass, keeping the whole offense in it. Unbelievable set 
front to end by Sherbro. Messino Way just laying out for that one perfectly up, and his addition to the squad has a massive coming in for the Belantar de Sherbrooke, the Sage F team from last year. And this Sherbrooke team seems to be on a mission. They were able to slow down Isaac Aslingo, which I didn't think was possible, and they're able to take that third set. Third set goes to Sherbrooke. They lead it two sets to one. They take it 25-22. Join us back for the fourth. You're watching the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championships presented by Mikasa on CBC Sports. Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff. We've been standing behind our overkill clothing and supporting athletes for over 30 years. We're pumped to be part of this year's U Sports National Championships. celebration as if you're standing right on the sideline, immersing you in the game like never before, bringing heart-pounding action directly to millions of fans. We deliver unparalleled simplicity and tailor-made digital broadcasting solutions crafted to make you feel every moment in a way like never before. Our passionate team ensures your message reaches audiences reliably every time. Proudly Canadian, we bring a touch of innovation and our passion to the world stage. ISI Live, be Mark Hughes here, president of Canuck Stuff, and this is a short video. Overkill Short. Get yours today at Overkill. Welcome back to the Athletics and Recreation Center on the campus of Queen's University. It is the U Sports Men's Volleyball Championship gold medal match between the Alberta Golden Bears and the Sherbrooke Bechio. And Alberta taking the opening set 25-16, but Sherbrooke responding, taking sets two and three, with the latest being 25-22. Just a completely different team in the set two and three from Sherbrooke. They went back to the well, went back to the way they normally have been playing all year, and it's been tough on Alberta. First serve from Weeb, Tipped over the top by, by David, Braden Weeb. High ball set to the left side on the top is Heslinga. And Isaac Heslinga finds the back corner. Just like I said last set, I would rather see Alberta just run a straight high ball of the outside of Heslinga because no one can play with him up there. So the first point of this fourth set goes to Alberta. And it's a hard float serve there by Weave. Hollins off the block mm. and responds right back on the side out for Shiver. Right. right back, right off the setter, you know, great play by Holland, swinging high, hard off hands for the kill. A great give and go there by Holland. It was tasty. Jonathan Portalance, back to serve now for Le Vecheol. Passed up by Edwards. Drybro to the right side, Espedito! The Sherbrooke Raven on the net as well, but Espedito... Just too much pace out of that swing out of the back row. You are cutting it too, making Moisa move in the back row. And Moisa was almost on it, but it was just outside of his reach. 2-1, the early advantage here, and a do-or-die set for the Golden Bears. Deep float serve, passed up by Hollins. Set back to Hollins on the right side, off the block. Edwards is there, dry bro. Over to Heslinga, rolls over top of the block. Moisa gets there, he and Portalance both going after it. And then both pulling away, it drops to the open floor. That's 
a really tough break there as two guys both wanting and both wanting the other player to play it but it finds a way to hit the floor. That's a tough break early on in this fourth set. Tough break, but also uncharacteristic for Sherbrooke. Very uncharacteristic. 3-1 is the lead here for Alberta. Driver with another deep float Ooh. serve. This time out the back. That one continued to carry. But when Sherbrooke makes a mistake like that, Alberta can't be giving them back the ball. Mm -hmm. they got to keep putting the pressure on and force Sherbrooke to side out and score. 3-2 is the lead now for Alberta. And we mentioned... Sherbrooke with a two sets to one lead. Roll on the serve that time set into the middle by Johnstone who cuts around but it's picked up by Mercier Noel. Back to David, but it's blocked and out of play on the tool by Yohan David. Are you kidding me on that dig by Mercier Noel? Coming off the net on a tip straight down and getting a hand on it? That is an unbelievable play on defense. He's essentially another libero out there that can also get kills. In the blink of an eye, we're tied at three. Back to serve, it's Zachary Hollins. Takes a bit of pace off this time. Passed up by Edwards. Drybro, out of the right side, off the top by Heslinga. Scrambles oh. there, it's Portarals. Just runs out of space at the end of it. So close there with from Portarals. And you can see that he uh, met his head coach standing above him and just being like, oh, you almost had it. And give him the pack, a pat in the back and say, let's go. Alberta back in front, it's 4-3 with Isaac Heslinga. Back to serve. Passed up in tight by Hollins. Set out of the pipe to Hollins! <laughs> Zachary Hollins right down Main Street. 4-3, Sherbrooke. And they're finding a lot of success running that 61 and then spreading it around from there. It's pulling that blocker over and opening up the space in the middle of the gap in the middle of the floor. But also, Zachary Hollins, he's getting better as this game goes on. Julian Vanier back to the service line now for Sherbrooke. The overpass is in tight. Having to adjust though. Great job by Drybro. Portalans sets into the middle. Read by Johnstone. Kept alive by Hollins. Sent over on the free ball now by David. Out of play. As oh. Yohan David with the forearms trying to just send it over. And it's outside the antenna. Just kind of lost a bit where he was on the floor when he tried to play that ball over. It was just giving a free ball back. Uh, another uncharacteristic miss from the Sherbrooke side. Yeah, as, as, as he was going up, I in my heart I was like, I have complete confidence to put him over. Not many right sides you do. David is one of them. That's a rare mistake. Alberta with a 5-4 advantage here. Passed up in tight by Hollins. Now to the right side, David tips over the block, recycles. Moisaille there. Portalance back to David this time. Puts it away with pace. Yohan, David, we're tied at five. And he's such a smart player. As we talked a bit about earlier, he had so many kills. Line, 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 line. Now Alberta, it seems like they adjusted their block, and he's hammering the ball cross court. He has both shots. Sometimes better offense is going to beat your defense. Tied at five through the first ten points of this fourth set. Yohan David takes a bit of pace off the serve. Drybro out of the pipe to Heslinga. Able to get contact on the block, though, is Sherbrooke. Set to the left side. Mercier Noel rolls down. Heslinga picks it up. Into the left right side ball to Espinito. Moisaya in tight. Mercier Noel finds a location. Able to scramble to pick it up. She's going to get sent over. Espinito, good location. Forces second ball to be taken by Hollins. Mercy and Noel, great dig again by Edwards, out of the pipe, Heslinga puts an end to the best rally of the fourth set, 6-5 Alberta. And everybody in this gym knew that last ball was going to Heslinga, but there was nothing that block could do. They had almost three guys up on it, but it's so fast and so effective. What a play, what a swing by Heslinga. The quality of the volleyball we're seeing though right now, guys, is so high. Espinito back to serve now for Alberta. Passed up by Moisin. For Talons. David out of the back row and it's blocked. Drybro comes over to close. Weave and Jacob Sargent do the heavy lifting at 7 5. Tough in that high ball situation. They had three up on there and that ball was left a bit inside and that big block of Alberta did the job similar to what we saw in that first set. Once again, Alberta creating a bit of a spread with Espinito. Escudito at the baseline. Liam Escudito back to serve. Great serve, and it's picked up by Mercy and Noel, who's just going to roll it back over, and it's outside the antenna again. And another attacking error from Sherbrooke, and it's 8-5 for the Golden Bears. Alex, you talked about it earlier that 
Alberta was really putting Sherbrooke off kilter in that first set with their serving. They've dialed up this, their serving here in set number four. Yeah, they had to dial up their serving pressure because the last two sets when they didn't put serving pressure, when you leave Jonathan Portalans being able to set anything, he spreads the ball so well. It makes it so easy on offense. Um, and if you're Alberta, you know, you're going to keep this pressure up as the game goes on. Sherbrooke's got to do something a bit to make some adjustments in order to find a way to get some good passing, or else we're going to be looking for the fifth set. Alberta's offense here in this fourth set, five for nine, hitting a five-five-six with no errors. So forcing an early timeout here, and it's a three-point advantage for Alberta. Again, they're trailing two sets to one and trying to push this one into a fifth and deciding set. And what a perfect setting it would be for the national championship to be decided into a fifth set. But Alberta has some work to do still, obviously, to close out this fourth to push that. But Sherbrooke taking sets two and three. And now force Alberta, excuse me, coming out of the timeout that Alberta put them into in the early stages of this fourth set. We haven't gone to a fifth set in a national final since 2007 when Winnipeg beat Alberta. Espedito coming out of the timeout will go back to serve here for the Golden Bears. Passed up by Moisin. Hollins takes second ball across to David, rolls over top of the block. Espedito takes first contact, dry row. Sergeant converts on the left side and it's 9-5. Can't say enough about Liam Espedito and the ability to put in a serve with that pace in the in coming out of that timeout. Absolutely unreal for the man out of Port Coquitlam. And Hugo Ouellette in for Mercier Noel. Coming out of the timeout for Sherbrooke as Espedito swings away over past there by Moisin. Opportunity here for Alberta to recover again. Dry roll with a great set inside. Finds the extended arm there of Graydon Weave. And they're going to the double sub early on. They didn't want this gap to become too big right now, but I don't think it's a problem on offense. Right now, the struggle has been passing. They don't have many options right now. They are two passing the ball the last four or five um, plays in a row, and that's going to make it really difficult to side out if you're swinging against two or three Alberta blockers. Espedito continuing the service run here for the Golden Bears. 10-5, the advantage into the net. And you can hear the elation from the Sherbrooke fans. They know how important it is to get Espedito off the baseline. 10-6. And it's Hugo Willette back to serve now for Sherbrooke. Off the tape. Into the middle again to Graydon Weave. Back-to-back -back runs there from dry road to Graydon Weave out of the middle. And it's 11-6. Yeah, they haven't gone down to the middle much have the Golden Bears, but back to back to Weed, he's four for four on the after, on the evening. Well, that's, excuse me, Sergeant back to serve now for Alberta. And it's well out the back on the service error by Jacob Sargent. Well out the back and kind of letting on a little pressure off of the back of the here. As Kalal, who's caused them some problems, they head back to serve. Elliot Kalal. Back to serve now for the Vecchiol. It's a deep float serve and it's going to carry well out the back. 12-7. Seems that always as we're about to talk about someone who's strong from the service line, we end up giving them a bit of a jinx and then they end up missing the serve. The commentator's curse. <laughs> Graydon Weave if, now. If, if we were biased, we could be dangerous with this. Graydon Weave back to serve now for Alberta. Serve. Hand pass taken there. Set to the right side. Doyle, but he's blocked. Johnstone, Hesslinga, 13 7. And it's all Alberta Golden Bears so far in this set as they extend their lead to six points. Yeah, they are an emotional high right now, and it's all because of their serving. They have done so well from the baseline to put pressure on Turbo. Braden Weed serving again here for Alberta. Passed up by Moisin. And it's going to be a free ball sent over there by Hollins. Opportunity now for Alberta to convert to the left side. Hesslinga finds the open floor. And Johnstone with a decoy in the middle. And it's Isaac Hesslinga. Timeout number two taken 
by Sherbrooke. Very interesting to see on that replay. Uh, Vanier was a little bit upset because he couldn't go out and close. I'm not sure if uh, the middle on Alberta came down and landed on him as he was trying to go and close, but I don't think it really mattered because that set was in system, in rhythm, and he had a full swing, did Heslinga on the left side. So the lead has blown to seven here in the fourth set. You get a second look at the latest sequence run by Alberta as Drybro to the outside and see a little bit of maybe Johnstone getting caught underneath the net. You know what I just remembered is the fact that Isaac Heslinga and Eric Sissna played on the same club team for the Aurora Storm back in, in, in uh, 2019. Just imagine going up against those two with those two guys on the left side. Two of the three players of the year went to Isaac Heslinga, but two of the three conference players of the year, the other being Jonathan Portalance. Number four, the setter here for the Sherbrooke Bechel. 14 to seven for Alberta, and again, a do or die set to try to extend the match into a fifth. This is the exact response that you'd expect from the Alberta Golden Bears. This is, this is what they train for. This is what they are known for. It is Weed back to serve once again here for Alberta off the hands there of Willette. Now to the left side, Hollins, touch on the block. Again, it's a side out for Sherbrooke in the double sub back in for the Bethel. That's a professional swing right there. Triple block and you're able to swing high and hard and just take it off the fingertips. That's a pro swing. So David and Portalance back onto the floor for Sherbrooke as they trim the deficit to six. Jonathan Portalos getting ready to serve here for the Bechel off the tape. Passed up there by Sargent and tight to Heslinga off the top of the block. Portalos left side to Hollins off and eats up the block. Finds that spacing off the net and unable to get it back the other way was Drybro. It's classic Sherbrooke right there. Classic Sherbrooke right there and back to back plays by Hollins. First job, taking it off the top. Next ball, I'm going to throw it in your inside of your hands and let it fall to the floor. His tool bag is deep. 14 9, the advantage here now for Alberta. Passed up by Sargent. Drybro to the outside. Eslinga off the block. Good scramble by Moisin. Sent over there on the free ball for Hollins. Out to the left again. Heslinga, another touch by Moisin. But it's out in behind the Sherbrooke bench, but full support from his teammates on the floor for back-to-back -back digs. Isaac Heslinga, they've clearly gotten the message that they need to feed him. That's kill number 25 in the match. 15-9, the lead now for Alberta with Drybro back to serve. Look served by Sam Drybro. Portalance to the left side, David. Picked up there by Sargent. Forearm set to the outside to Heslinga, off the block. David seals the triple, and then Hollins closes up top with Julien Vanier. It's so crazy how good Sherbrooke is at answering. We see this block, just a great press there by Julien Vanier. But one play that they pull off and convert, and all of a sudden they're right back into this game emotionally. 15-10 is the lead for Alberta. With Hollins to serve, passed up by Edwards. It's a good one. Into the middle, Johnstone able to pick it up with Hes or excuse me, Espinito. But can't keep it central. It's another block for the Bethel. They're within four. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we see a timeout here from Brock Davida. Nope, looks like he's looking at the clipboard, but that's two massive blocks there, back to back by the Vahial. 15-11. Nope, serve this time short into the net by Hollins. Bit of a dagger, he was on a real good serving run there. Yeah, it's tough when you're building momentum like that and you're having such success with your blocks, sometimes you, wanna, you do want to put them in trouble, but when you make a miss, you're just giving the ball right, right away. Serve up coming by Isaac Heslinga. Off the hands of Moisei. Out the back. It's 17-11 now for Alberta. That was a rare one. I think that might be Heslinga's first kill or first ace of the tournament story. And he was teeing him up earlier with the spinners. Let's see. No, hits the hybrid once again. Outside there to David. What a play there by Heslinga. And they get it back over. Moisei set inside. Run to the pipe out from Hollins. Picked up Heslinga. Has a look around. Sets to Espedito. Off the hands. No, it's going to go to the Bechel. 
Last touched by Espadino. He is incensed, and Sam Drivero not agreeing with that call. I mean, on eye, it looks like Espadino may have gotten that contact, but from watching so many replays of the year, generally when you wipe it, it's usually the attacker that touches it last. 17-12, the advantage for the Golden Bears. Passed up there by Vanier. Set back to Espadino. They're going to call Sam Drivero on the double. And all of a sudden, the lead back to within four and momentum shifting in favor of Sherbrooke. Just low and flat, right? He was pushed all the way across the four and had to sling that one so far back. When they're running it at that speed, sometimes it comes out with a bit of a mishandle. 17, 13, and serving once again. Passed up in tight, making the adjustment is Drybro. The dump over the top. Rolled over now by Hollins. Alberta trying to reload to go again. Billy Johnstone leaves no doubt. This time around, it's 18, 13. And the repeat set, back to back, going to Johnstone and letting him wind up and swing full out for that second time and getting the kill. Just a great response here by both these teams. It looks like we're moving slowly towards the fifth set, but Sherbrooke is right back into this game. We're gearing up for a good one. Johnstone with the serve. Getting there is Portola, staying on top of it. What a swing oh, goodness. by Willette. And his biggest point of the match. Where did that come from? It might be his first point of the match. First point of the match, an absolute hammer cross court for the score. Another look at the latest swing by Hugo Willette. Warren pass comes up, what a swing there by Willette to bring it back to within four. Now a serve by David up into the stands, chasing is Edwards, but can't get there. And it's 18-15, and maybe a timeout looming here for Alberta. As Davidoff looks to the official, going to decide, there yes, we go. he will call the timeout. At 18.15. He's really good at delaying that, eh? Just you wait, you wait, you wait. Finally, all right, there we go. But absolutely needed right now by the Alberta Golden Bears as Sherbrooke. You can hear their fans going. And I wish we could get a shot right now of the, there we go, it's a great shot of just how loud it is for those Golden Bears. You've got the bench guys holding up towels to create a bit of a barrier. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful to see this crowd. is all Sherbrooke on that sideline right now just trying to block them out, but unbelievable play the last few points here by Sherbrooke to claw their way back in it. You know, three-point game now. We thought earlier on they needed to play a bit differently, differently earlier to get back in the set, and defensively they've really turned it on. And, you know, the service pressure, we talked about that early. Service pressure seems to be key. When Alberta opened up with this lead, they served so tough, and that's how they clawed their way to such a long lead. Alberta's going to need to respond inside out or else, you know, we could be tied up in the 20s. I would love to be a fly on that timeout. I wonder what kind of tactical things the Alberta, Bear, the Alberta Golden Bears are going to come with in this one. 18-15. Coming out of the Alberta timeout, they still have one remaining. But it's a three-point advantage for the Golden Bears, but a run back the other way from Sherbrooke into the net. And David with the service error. Top that went up for a coach's point for Brock Davidoff, right in the pocket. And now to the line, it's Liam Espedito, who's generated a ton of service pressure here throughout the game. We'll try to continue that and get this separation up a little higher, but it's into the net. And typically at this stage of the game, this is when we would see that double sub from Sherbert. But because of the pressure early on, they had to go to the double sub early. And now they have to rely on Portolans going across the front of the net and see if he can slow down this Alberta offense. We haven't seen what that served yet. Let's see what he brings us. Right back to the service oh. line, out the back. On this service error. And it's 20 to 16. And it'll be a serving sub as Luke Waddell comes back in for Alberta. 20 to 16 the advantage. And a must win set here for Alberta. To force a fifth in deciding. Waddell with a great serve. Off the arms of Lausanne and out the back. And a great, great serve by Luke Waddell. What a time to come in off the bench, national final, trying to force a fifth set, and you come in and rip an ace. Huge spot, huge point. 
Love that. Love when the serving sub comes in and roots today. So usually, usually they just miss it. Waddell does it again. No, out the back this time. Able to steal one, does Luke Waddell. And back onto the floor is Jacob Sargent, 21-17. And the Golden Bears are one step closer to a fifth and deciding set. And Bouchard going to come in to serve now for the Becheol. And it's 21-17 for Alberta. Passed up by Edwards. It's tight, though. Drybro presses. Drybro wins the joust. And he shows them the muscles once again. Why do the small setters always win? They always seem to win the Joes. I don't know if it's because they're first to the ball, but as you saw, he just got up so early and pressed in. No chance for Vanier on that one. 22-17 with Graydon Weave. Back to serve. For Alberta. It's a float serve, but it's in tight. Decision by Heslinga to pull back off and then swings it through. Isaac Heslinga! He's so smart. Two He's points so, to push. so smart. His awareness of what's going around him is so unparalleled, and his vision is second to none. The ball in tight to the tape as Linga decides to reset and then gets rewarded with the set to the left side and swings away. Two points to push now for the Golden Bears off the tape. Pass comes in tight, set from Portalons to the outside to Hollins. Off the arms there of Weave. Sergeant chases to the signage. 23-18. That set came out a little different than normal. You know, Hollins had to hang and bang on that one and just wait. And that's why the block dropped their hand. They tried to drop and play a little bit with the game. There was no block. He had a full swing. 23-18 for the Golden Bears. Portalons to serve off the tape. Passed up by Sargent. Drybro outside. Heslinga out the back. No touch on the block and can't quite find the baseline. The attacking error by Heslinga brings the lead back to four with Portalon serving. One of the best servers for Sherbrooke. They've usually gone on runs quite often when he's back at the service line with Johan David on the front court. Jonathan Portalon. It's a bit of pace off this time. Edwards passes up. Drybro out of the sea ball. Espedito puts the ball through the floor and it's set point Alberta. Yeah, Portalon's tried to take a take a little off it he took too much off of it and it was an easy serve and they got a clean four pass and had their full offense they could run Sam Drybro back to serve to try to close out this fourth set it's a float serve taken by Willette now to Willette tips over the top and it's back row attack by Willette and the set goes to the Alberta Golden Bears they take it 25 to 19 and only fitting Alex Everett, the national championship, the gold medal match between the Alberta Golden Bears and the Sherbrooke Bethel. We're going to a fifth set. Yeah, for the first time since 2007, it's almost been 20 years since we've gone to a fifth set. And once again, as I said, like this is this one have been one of the closest national finals we've seen in a long, long time. And it's been absolutely fantastic from these two teams. Coming into this match, you know, we couldn't decide who was the favorite. We didn't know, even though they're one and two seeds. You know, these teams are so well matched, so good on both sides of the floor. It's a coin toss, and that's why we ended up in a fifth set. Absolutely. And I believe Sherbrooke has never won a U Sports men's volleyball national. I was just saying that I didn't think Sherbrooke could ever win a national championship, and I was wrong. They won one back in 1975, um, back when the underhand float serve was all of the rage. So that's been a little bit while for the Alberta Golden Bears. We don't have to look too far back. The 2022 was the last time the Golden Bears took home a national championship. Yeah, this would be, you know, if Sherbrooke's able to come out with the victory, this would be the first time since... 2012, 2013, 
where Laval was able to come out on top at home weren't, for the RSEQ. Weren't, weren't, you, weren't you a part of that game there, Alex Elliott? Yeah, might have been a part of that game, didn't end up on top. No, I, I seem to remember. You guys were the favorites coming into one, and that rabid Laval crowd and Bruno Lotzi sliding on his knees everywhere <laughs> to finish it off. But, man, guys, we have been so fortunate to be here on the call for this match. It's been it's been an honor and a pleasure to call this one with you gentlemen. And, you know, and it's also St. Patrick's Day, right? Oh, you know, yeah. we have green on green, classic getting into the final with both teams uh, supporting that. And it's been epic, an epic final. I don't remember one quite like this in the past 10 years. No, not at all. A five-setter. Everyone loves when it goes the distance. It's funny, I was talking to uh, the dad of Jonathan Potterans today, and I was saying, I wanted to go five. And he was like, please, no, please, no. Well, Jean Louis, I got my wish. I apologize, but this has been a fantastic match of volleyball, and I hope all of you watching at home and around the world have thought the same. One of the interesting things looking at the stat line so far in this four sets uh, is the hitting for efficiency for both sides. Right now, still Sherbrooke hitting 191 versus Alberta's 311. That's a big gap, big sizable difference. It's unbelievable for teams to be hitting that different in efficiency and for us to be ending up in a fifth set. Well, when you when you look at Alberta's efficiency in the two sets that they won, have been well over 400, the two sets that they lost underneath 300. Sherbrooke a little bit more even across the board, but we've seen different offenses over the course of this match from either of these teams. We're tied at two sets apiece. It is the fifth and deciding set for the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Championship gold medal. Alberta taking the opening set 25-16. Sherbrooke taking the second 26-24 in the third 25-22. And Alberta responds 25-19 in the fourth. And it's Greeton Weave starting us off with a float serve passed up by Moisea to the left side. Hollins off the block. And the first point of the fifth set goes to the Sherbrooke FBL. It seems that whenever Sherbrooke needs a big emotional point, they just give it to Hollins and he goes high off the hands. What a pass to start off this set. You know, they struggled down the stretch passing. That was a four pass right off the bat. They have their full offense running and they find a way to get it to Hollins for the point. Jonathan Portalon. Back to serve here for the Vecheol, and it's an it. Just oh. goes back. Oh. On the service oh. error, it's going to go long. Mm. That's very close. Could have gone either way from this angle. It's hard for us to see. The linesman was right there. It landed right in front of her as she called it out of bounds. Team split the first two points. And now back to serve is Sam Dryro into the net. And it goes right back to Sherbrooke. Up miss there, right off in, in response to that. And that wasn't close. It got found the middle of the net. Usually, you'd want to serve it. If you're going to miss, miss out the back to make the passers on the other side have to make a decision. Hitting it into the tape is tough because then there's no choice. You're just giving a three point away. Zachary Hollins, the serve. Passed up by Edwards. Isn't the greatest, but able to bring it back in. And Heslinga rolls over the top. Able to get there. Is Portalos now to the outside to David. Passed up, here's Drybro to the right side, Heslinga. Picked up there by Mercier Noel, back to the left side, David out to side. No touch called on the swing from Sherbrooke, and we're tied at two. Uncharacteristic there from Johan David. He has been so clutch all set long, but it's almost like he was trying to give the ball to his fans way into the crowd. But isn't that fun to watch David versus Heslinga on their opposite ends going back and forth, yeah. swing for swing for swing. Great to see in this fifth set. Isaac Kesslinga back to serve now for Alberta. Pass comes in tight from Moisei. What a set by Portalos off the top of the block. Kesslinga gets there. Back to Espedito. Finds the back corner, Liam Espedito. You know what? Adjustment by Sargent on that block, being able to commit almost then getting there and getting a piece of that and transitioning into an unbelievable swing on offense. Espedito just going straight OT. Noel Messi, can't, or Messi Noel, sorry, just can't get high enough to compete with him. Serve from Heslinga off the tape and it drops in. And the ace for the U Sports Player of the Year. Isaac Heslinga doing it from the baseline. And did he just crack a smile? I don't think I've seen that all weekend from him. Sometimes you have to be good to be lucky. And at that time it finds the tape and they get up by two. Colton Bears up 4 2. Heslinga serving again. This time it's a bit of a floater. To the right side, David off the top of the block. Dry row gets there. Second ball taken by Heslinga to the outside. Espedito cross, but it's dug up well by Hollins. Set back to the left side. Mercy and Noel tips. Hands oh. there from Johnstone. 
Yeah. For the cleanest of service. What was he thinking? He tried to set speed. I think he was thinking he was going to approach full on. Sometimes it's the middle. You just need to set the ball high and give your hitters options to swing. Not sometimes. Always. Unless you're sometime, some type of center middle hybrid, like I was coming off the bench in, in club, you know, I, I don't want to see a middle send anything with pace. Vanier with the serve. Passed up. It's a perfect one by Edwards to the outside. Espadito! Right back for the Golden Bears. What a pass by Merrick Edwards on serve receive. Hot take, I think Liam Espedito has been Alberta's best player this game. 14 for 26, he's hitting a 423, and he's been dropping bombs of serves. Oh, he is out there. Yoan David is alone on an island, and Espedito is, has the entire court to swing at. 5-3, the lead, and this is served by Billy Johnstone. Set into the middle, able to get picked up there by Heslinga to the outside by Espedito. In tight. Mercier Noel answers right back. Able to knife around a triple block and paint the team. And Zach Ahim was on it there, did such a good job to set Mercier Noel inside. There's a three man block on him, and we're going to see. He sets him inside, and Mercier Noel has to go inside and get it, and he crushes it cross court. 5 4, Yolan David to serve. And it's an ace off the hands of Jacob Sargent. This has been a wild fifth set. We're all tied up at five. And Yoen David crushes that from one from the baseline. Five points apiece here in the sprint to 15. David to serve once again off the tape. Picked up by Heslinga. Dry row into the middle. Great lead. Alberta back on top. Seems whenever they need a point, sometimes if they get a good pass, they're going to weave you down the stretch, and you had a full swing there. They're not commit blocking over there on, on uh, the very or side right now, so they have lots of options up the middle. Weave 100% tonight, 5 for 5 in attacking. Liam Espedito, passed up by Hollins. Set back to the left side, Mercy and Noel, tools off the block and out of play. And we're level at six in the Bo fifth set. Boys, we're seeing a heavyweight belt right now. It is just shot after shot after shot. And what's even better, everyone is stepping up. Everyone is scoring points. And it's now Mercier Noel back to the service line. Deep three serve receivers. Espedito calling ins and outs. Mercier Noel goes to get it. Passed up. Set to Heslinga just to push out of the back row. Set to the left side, Hollins off the top of the block. Heslinga tries to scramble, Edwards in position, but a little too shallow. And the Bethel for the first time in the fifth set after 1-0 are back in front. Look at this, Hollins just once again going high off hands. And at some point, Alberta's gonna start pulling on him. Timeout taken by the Golden Bears, the first of two. We are one point to push here for Sherbrooke until the changeover. 7-6, the advantage for Sherbrooke. Albert. An interesting call on the timeout there, too. I thought it was very back and forth. I didn't mm -hmm. think someone was taking a big advantage. It seems to be anyone's game right now. Maybe they're seeing something that we're not in the rotation. They want to talk things over. Maybe they want to come back and try something different on offense. And he needed a second to talk to the center. It could quite be. We know that the coaching staff over there for the Golden Bears is one of the best but it seems like they're just taking a moment as Doc is standing back so is Vinny Saperito and Brock Davidoff isn't anywhere near his team so they're just taking a moment to take a breather right now so 7-6 is the lead in favor of the Sherbrooke Bechel again it was Alberta taking the opening set Sherbrooke taking sets two and three and Alberta responding in the fourth as we come back out of the timeout. It'll be really interesting to see if they go in with the double sub at all. Now that, Ooh. because, you know, Portland is one of the best players on the floor. This is a quick, fast set. Are they going to go to the double sub at some point? It'll be interesting to see. It would be tough to imagine taking off your captain and best player and highest score at any point in the fifth set. Mercier Noel back to serve off the tape, passed up by Heslinga. Drybro to the C to Espedito again. Liam Espedito continues to perform out of the back row and we get Luke Waddell back in to serve here for Jacob Sargent. Just a great answer coming out of that timeout. And once again, Espedito has just been so strong here. Kill number 17 on the afternoon for the big man. Saw an ace on the last serving sub by Waddell. 
see if he can steal another and push Alberta into the lead at the changeover. And it's out the side and the service error this time from Waddell. Mm -hmm. 7 is the lead right now in favor of Sherbrooke. As Alberta sprints around the corner, they want to get right back on the floor to play right away. No break, no time in between. They want to keep going. 8-7, this has been a classic battle of giants on the west and east coast of our country. This has been one of the best, if not the best, national final I've ever watched. 8-7 for the top seed at Sherbrooke Bechel in the fifth set. And it'll be Elliot Colal back to serve. For Sherbrooke. And Julien Vanier will come into the front row. Interesting that Kadal is there with the ball. Usually players don't like to hold the ball when they're waiting to serve. Interesting that he has no problem, just you know, no qualms. If I was if I was waiting back there, I'm tossing it back to the guy and I, I'm 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 starting my procedure. I was thinking the exact same thing. He's a lot of time to think over this serve, but maybe he's comfortable, maybe that's his routine where he just wants the ball no matter what and knows where he's gonna put it. I love how we're halfway through this fifth set and I still don't know who's gonna win. Jacob Sargent back onto the floor now for the Golden Bears. As Kolal with a last deep breath before his serving routine. 8-7, Sherbrooke. And it's a deep float serve, passed up by Sargent. Set to the left side, Isaac Heslinga tips, finds the pot. Able to scramble though and keep it alive for the Vejeo. Sent over on the free ball. Passed up by Edwards. Set to the C ball, and it's dug up by David. Sent over on the free ball again by Sherbrooke. Alberta tries again, back to the left side. Heslinga off the block. We'll say contact on the block there by Sherbrooke, and we're tied at eight. How about the defense though from Yohan David? Great defense on Sherbrooke's side. That's the way, the way they want to play. Just keep giving the ball and see if we can force Alberta into a, an error. But you know, when you have Eslinga on the other side, attacking, 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 he's going to find a way to get it done. Eight points apiece here with Braden Lee back to serve. Passed up is tight by Hollins. Wiped off by Portillanos, but he's back row. Wipes it off hands, and it's a point to Alberta. Yeah, I know. That was a reach over there by Paul Pernas, and two points in a row as Alberta takes that lead. Sherbrooke is going to call that timeout. They all take the timeout. They were at the changeover, up 8-7. It's back-to-back -back points. Just barely over the net on the other side. Uh, also, he, he got no piece of it, too, right? He just... He wasn't going to argue the call of being over encroaching because he hit it out of bounds and didn't get a piece of the block either. Yeah, absolutely. And that was a great response here from the Alberta Golden Bears. Kyle, you said it. They ran over to the other side on the side switch, and you can tell that they're ready, emotionally ready, and they came back nicely. But I'm expecting Sherbrooke to do the exact same. And they're the first ones out of this timeout. And I love the fact that they're ready, waiting on court for when the Golden Bears come back. 9-8, the advantage. Teams with one timeout apiece remaining. And we talked about it a lot because sometimes in this rotation when they have Vanier up front, is are they gonna run a 61? But he's coming from all the way on the other side of the floor. They usually like to run 61 out of the middle and then force Holland inside. To do that here, it's a bit different though with Portalos in the front court. So it'll be great and weave serving for the Golden Bears coming out of the timeout. Shallow serve received, David calling ins and outs, passed up there by Moisin, set to the pipe, Mercier Noel, we're back level, nine points apiece. And Mercier Noel out of the pipe, they haven't ran that very often at all tonight, they've ran it to Hollins mostly, to come at this stage and be confident in anyone at any point and find Mercier Noel out of the pipe, that's unbelievable setter play from Portolans. And Jonathan Portolans into serve, back to serve with Yohan David now into the front row. Portolans passed up and it's a good one on receive in tight off the swing. Recycled there by Johnstone, loses his footing, set outside, Heslinga! Out the side, and the attacking error by Isaac Heslinga gives the lead back to Sherbrooke, it's 10-9. A rare miss there by Heslinga as a one-on-one -on -one block swinging full on in the outside. Don't see him miss that very often. No, and just like that, the momentum of this game switched again back to Sherbrooke. How many lead changes have you seen him just in this fifth set alone? Jonathan Portalos. 
Back to serve once again. Passed up by Edwards. Dry bro to the seed, Espedito! <laughs> Liam Espedito! Straight down the line, we're tied at 10. He detonated that one. Dryboro put it right in his windmill and he pulled and held nothing back. Dryboro, back to serve, which brings Espedito into the front court. Float serve, passed up and getting pulled off. Second ball taken by Hollins. To the outside to David, tip, it's going long! And the attacking error by Nuan David gives the lead back to Alberta. 11-10. Once, uh, once again, just another hitting error. We'll see David is coming inside, and that is an uncharacteristic play. Usually, Sherbrooke is so detailed with what they do with those out-of-system balls. Dry bro, the serve again. Pass up by Mercier Noel. It's in tight in the middle. Oh, my goodness. Block. Oh, my goodness. Isaac Kesslinga, Billy Johnstone, 12-10, Alberta. What oh. an absolute... Insane time to have a slam block like that, and they extend their lead to two. What a move there by Isaac Aslinga, jumping in, shutting down the middle, and what a time to do it too for the Golden Bears. 12-10 as we get another look at the latest block here by Haslinga and Johnstone. Oh, it looks like it was Johnstone who got that one actually just with a good reach. And what Johnstone's doing really, really good is when you're playing in the Canada West, you tend to go high because they're playing a little higher. Julien Vanier doesn't hit that high. So Johnstone is just going straight over and pressing that net exactly. 12-10. No timeouts remaining for the Béréal. They trail by two in this five-set thriller for the national championship. Golden Bears back onto the floor. And Drybro continuing the service run. Shallow serve receive in for Sherbrooke. And it's a 12-10 advantage, as we said, for the Alberta Golden Bears in this fifth set. Drybro, deep float serve, passed up in oh. tight, and overpass! Put away by Isaac Kesslinga! And the Golden Bears are two points away from the tantrum mark. Sherbrooke need an answer right now. Right now, those are too many uncharacteristic errors. An overpass there by Mercier Noel. No the Golden Bears can taste it at this point. Sherbrooke needs a big play right now. Dry roll. Back to serve again here for Alberta. It's another float serve off the hands. Has to be kept alive on a scramble. But staying on top of it is David. Tips to the back row. Dry bro to the right side. Espinito with a dig though by Portanals. Moisin to the right side. Hollins blocked! And it's match point. Alberta. You know, I've talked about it before in a fifth set. There's three games. The game to five, the game to ten, the game to fifteen. It was even to ten, and Alberta has dominate, dominated in this last third of the set. Dry bro. Back to serve its championship point for the Golden Bears as their faithful here at the arc are on their feet. Serve from Drybro. Passed up by Moise and tight. Portalos to the right side. Hollins blocked, but it slips through. And the Bechayon are back. And Ouellette's going to come back onto the floor here for Sherbrooke. That 14-11 for Mercier Noel. And that's because they have a slingo on the right side. We saw this earlier. David's going to fire it up. He's going to switch pins here. And they're going to go best on best on the left side to decide this national championship. 14-11 in the fifth set. Collins to serve. Passed up by Edwards. They go to Heslinga on the right side, off the top of the block. Collins able to keep it alive. Portalance to the right side. Swings off the block. And the Verreal stay alive. It's 14-12. You can feel the tension on the Sherbrooke side. Giving it to Hugo Wanet. Wanet has only had one swing so far. And you're going to see he comes in a little heavy-footed. But is able to swing that and get a touch on the way out. Hollins serving once again here for Sherbrooke, trying to trim it to a single point. Passed up, it has a roll a bit, dry roll, staying on top of it. Passed up by Hollins, Portalans to the left side, David off the block again! Sherbrooke within one, 14-13 in the fifth set of a national championship timeout taken Alberta. Absolutely, you have to take that there. Just fantastic serving there, back-to-back -back serves, times there by Z uh, Zachary Hollins and Johan David made no mistake to put that one away. Just great fortitude there by the Sherbrooke Vahiar.
being down three in a fifth set, you know, or four. They were down four in a fifth set coming in. You're going back to serve. You know you need to steal points. He wasn't ripping serves. He was putting them in trouble, though, putting them in a difficult position, and they found a way to steal two points. Unbelievable at this stage in the game. Now the big question is, what is Doc planning up for the Golden Bears? What are they going to put? They've got Eslinga, Eslinga on the right side, Escudito on the left. Can they? The biggest question, though, is can they pass well enough here on this ball to get themselves in system? That's the biggest key right now. They had two passes in a row that were two passes or almost a zero pass, putting a free ball over. Right now, it's going to be on their backcourt to get a good pass, and likely you're going to see that flip back to Haslinga going best on bets, him against Davi, to see if he can, we can either extend this to extra points or will the Golden Bears walk away with a national championship. Once again, Sherbrook was out there on the court waiting for the Golden Bears to come back from that timeout. 14-13 in the fifth set of a gold medal match here in Kingston. Back to serve, Zachary Hollins. It's long! And the Alberta Golden Bears are golden in Kingston for the U Sports Men's Volleyball Championship. Wow, 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 wow. You have to feel for Zachary Hollins there as he crumpled to the floor. And that's a tough spot to be in. We know we call that the coach's point, and that one goes long. But what a way to win for the Alberta Golden Bears. They were so disappointed with their performance at last year's national championships, and they come back with an absolute all-time classic as we see the coaching staff now join the rest of the Golden Bears. They take this one 15-13. 15-13 in the fifth set. It was an incredible fight back for the FAO. With Zachary Hollins on the service line, they're able to steal four from their three points, four points from the back on the service line and facing multiple championship points. And a great fight by the FAO, but it's a long serve out the back. That is the point in the end that clinches the banner for the Alberta Golden Bears. You really feel for Zachary Hollins there. You know, that's something he's going to have to live with and build on and going into the next year but it's tough when you're coming in, set point on the line, to throw up, he was throwing a great explode serve in, that's why they got back into that set. You know, we can't really think about that one too much, but it's so hard in this moment to miss a serve and end that way. But overall, what an unbelievable national final. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this. Both teams playing back and forth, side out volleyball. We saw a bit of everything, and the defense in this championship was the best I've ever seen from both sides. The play overall, and you know what? You didn't have maybe necessarily as many of the big names as we've had, had in past years. Chris has still got some fantastic uh, uh, talent out there, don't get me wrong, but the parity that we saw top to bottom in this tournament, you know, you, you think all the way back, the exciting day that we had on Thursday, Trinity Western getting upset and then almost getting beat by Guelph. Like, the talent has just been top to bottom fantastic here for the Sherbrooke Vajaya there as they take their time to, to come up to the net. And it was a fantastic season for the Vajaya, undefeated in conference play, only one loss in exhibition to McMaster over Christmas time. And you have to feel for these guys who were looking to complete the set. They got bronze two years ago, silver last year, but just weren't, just, I'm not going to say they weren't able to because they were 100% able to, right? They were right there. It was just, the coin can only flip on one side at a time, and today it just wasn't their day. So for the VFAO, it's back-to-back -back silver medals at the U Sports National Championships. They won bronze two years ago. They were silver medalists last year, losing to the Trinity Western Spartans in Hamilton and take home the silver medal once again this year, losing to the Alberta Golden Bears in an outstanding championship final between two of the best programs in the country for Alberta, making amends for losing in last year's semifinal to the Sherbrooke Bergeal and losing in that championship, excuse me, that bronze medal match to the McMaster Marauders. And they come all the way back and are golden here in 2024. You can just tell by how long these teams are taking to go through the handshake line, just how much respect they have for each other and speaking to both teams before this match they can only say good things and really uh, really applaud the other team's effort so long and it's, it's tough that only team can, one team can win right but that sport at the end of the day and big ups to the uh, Alberta Golden Bears and I'm watching Liam Escudito give high fives and to me I don't know who they're going to give the MVP to but to me he was MVP he may not have scored more points than Heslinga but 17 for 32 hitting a 438 leading 
leading the Golden Bears in that respect. 22 points. He was big from the baseline with a couple of aces all around. I think his step up, maybe he wasn't the best player, but his him stepping up in this game really opened things up for the Golden Bears. Yeah, you'll likely see him as one of the front runners for player of the game. But the player of the tournament has to be Isaac Hauslinga. He had 51 kills coming into tonight, and I think he added another 28 totaling, what, 79 kills on the entire tournament. That's something we barely see at this level. He was true, true professional. And it'll be really interesting to see, you know, with, uh, you look down the rosters on both sides, eligibility, um, a lot of guys in their second, third, fourth year, but, you know, with the with the COVID year, they all have been in school for that one extra year because they got eligibility back. So you don't know how many players from each side will be returning next year. Um, so it, it could be tough for some of those players on either side if this is their last game. If you're, if you're the Golden Bears and this is your last one, you get to go out on top. Unbelievable. And maybe that's fuel to the fire for your very or Maybe you see them come back and try to run it back again for the fourth year of the road of medal. They can run it back with most of this squad. Uh, Jérémy Doyon won't be coming back. Um, and then the other one, the other big one would be uh, Zachary Moisin. Uh, on the bench. Also Guillaume Rivet who was one of their main liberals last year. Those are the three guys that they will be moving on and losing but other than that they bring back the majority of this squad. But the same thing can be said as well for the Golden Bears. Heslinga's coming back, Sargent's coming back, Drybro's coming back, Espedito's coming back. I think it's Billy Johnstone and Graydon Weave, their middles, who are the only guys who potentially aren't going to be coming back. So we'll stay on the broadcast here for the presentation of the tournament all-stars, the tournament MVP and then the presentation of the silver medals to the Sherba Bechayal and the gold medals to the Alberta Golden Bears. And then, of course, the presentation of the U Sports National Championship banner and the Tantramar Trophy presentation that will, as we said, go to the Alberta Golden Bears. And as we mentioned in the earlier broadcast, it was the UBC Thunderbirds. We talked about a roster that doesn't have a ton of turnover, a young roster for the UBC Thunderbirds that will certainly be back on this stage, likely, at this time next year. Yeah, the only question mark for the UBC Thunderbirds is going to be James Winsett. He's looking at potentially going pro, so he's going to mull over his decisions over the next the next little bit to see if he's going to return to the Thunderbirds. But that's another team that could be returning a lot of stuff here as Jonathan Portalans is named appropriately the player of the game for the Vahial. So Portalans coming up to receive the accolades for Sherbrooke. Called it. And an outstanding championship game from Liam Espedito, recognized as the player of the match for the Alberta Golden Bears. May not be the last time we're hearing that name on the broadcast as well, potentially in the mix for a tournament all-star recognition. Yeah, I know, Liam Espedito, who's a guy who, I'll be perfectly honest, when I first saw him uh, this year, I was just like, is this guy a Golden Bears volleyball player? He doesn't look like the typical type. And in that first quarterfinal against Laval, his attacking was very average off or, uh, from the baseline. He was good, but he's improved every single match. And really today, they changed up the pace that they were giving the ball. Drybro was giving it to him perfectly in rhythm. He got hot, and he just went went with it. So we should be recognizing now the tournament all stars. And Liam Espedito right on cue recognized as a tournament all-star for his efforts here. Again, and Jacob Sargent will also be recognized as a tournament all-star for the Golden Bears. So efficient with his attacking and we mm -hmm. saw this match and throughout the weekend. He was very good. And Zachary Moisai was outstanding all tournament long, especially mm -hmm. in that semi-final victory against the Queen's Gales. When do you ever see a libero get player of the game, right? He was unbelievable. He dominated that backcourt, and he really limited teams throughout the whole week. Jonathan Portalance also recognized as a tournament all-star. Portalance will definitely return and spend some time with the B team this summer. And James Vincent recognized as a tournament all-star from the UBC Thunderbirds. Dominant middle performance here from Vincent. And looks like Eric Sixna in the queue as well to come out here. And there is Sixna who will come on to the floor and 
Perhaps some reservation now for potentially the player of the tournament. Leaning towards Isaac Heslinga. We'll wait for official confirmation, but that would put all three of the conference player of the year winners on the tournament all-star selection. Yeah, as to, as to be like they are, there's there's a few players who are just ahead above the rest this year, right? Paltanas, Heslinga uh, are two of them. Um, of course, Eric Sisna, and then I think Max Graton as well for, for McMaster. I thought they actually gave her a drum roll. So it does indeed go to Isaac Heslinga, and what an unbelievable tournament by the National Player of the Year. He'll join his teammates, Escudito and Sargent. Two of his opponents in this gold medal match in Moisin and Portalance. And Eric Sixna. You know what? For once, I actually agree with an all-tournament team. Great, great, great job there by the, by the committee. And, you know, Isaac Heslinga. We've been, we, we just talked about it. We've gone through a golden age of U Sport Men volleyball over the past little bit. When you look at the quality that's come through, where these players are going on next to Italy, to Poland, to the Olympics now three times with the men's national team program. And Isaac Haslinga, to me, has to be one of those guys that I'm looking to make that immediate jump to the national team. He was the top scorer for the national B team that ended up upsetting Brazil in the Pan Am Cup this summer. This guy is the absolute real deal and it was a treat to be able to watch him in action this week and especially with the bounce back after how how poor of a tournament he had last year at McMaster. It's James Vincent, the last tournament all-star that I missed on the roll call there on the second time through. So congratulations to all of those who made the all-tournament team and for the player of the year and the player of the tournament, Isaac Heslinga, as we'll present the national silver medals here to the Sherbrooke Bechel. Starting off with Jonathan Portalance, Yohan David, Zachary Moisin, and Jeremy Doyon. But a great atmosphere to celebrate the best national, the best programs in the country here, all competing at the Athletics and Recreation Center all weekend long and treated to some outstanding matches. Yeah, it's a very um, bittersweet feeling over on, on this sideline. You know, they had gone undefeated all year taking down big teams throughout the entire season and then to lose 15-13 in a fifth set is, is just really tough pill to swallow at this stage. Um, but, you know, all year they were worthy of that number one seed and likely should be similar next year because they had an absolute unbelievable season. This team is spectacular on all ends of the floor. Um, great defensive team. I've never seen a defensive team like that, being able to scramble so well, get so many digs, working well, so well off the net on 51s and 31s, being able to pick those up. It, it, it's been unbelievable and such spectacular volleyball to watch. And Sometimes when you get some big teams in, in Ontario or out west that are high flyers, high bangers, there's not that many long rallies. Tonight we were treated for something epic. We were treated to something special that saw lots of long, unbelievable rallies that you don't normally see at this stage with so many high-flying offenses that typically either score at will or make some errors. Yeah, other than that second set for Alberta where they made 10 errors, the efficiencies for either teams are, are relatively low and average, but there's low errors as well, and it's just a testament to the defense that we saw. The long rallies, the back and forth. This was not a side-out volleyball game. This was a pure game where we saw defense and blocking and serving, and it was honestly a treat. Once again, I think this was the best national final I've ever seen. And congratulations once again to the U Sports silver medalist, the Sherbrooke Bechel, as their personnel and players receive their medals from the delegates on staff from U Sports and their staff at their respective universities as we'll get set now to hand out the gold medals to the U Sports champions, the Alberta Golden Bears and then the captains from Alberta to come up and receive the banner and the Tantramar Trophy as national champs. I would like to say I think I've, I've broken my curse Alberta has, I've never watched Alberta win a national championship in person. I've only ever w watched them win one on streams when I've been at a women's championship. So I like, to, I like the fact that, you know what, we're, we're, we're over this stage now. 
what a turn tournament they had, you know. The West was very deep this year. They had a lot of battles, you know, coming out of the West, winning the final, and, and making it all the way this, this way. We saw some really good teams out West, and some really good teams in Ontario, too, battling with UBC and McMaster, and, you know, um, Queens upsetting Trinity. This has been a, a special weekend overall, and the atmosphere for that Trinity Queens game was one of the most electric things we've ever seen mm -hmm. out of the U Sport National Championships. But for Alberta to come out successful, and, and you know, both teams kind of swept their way to the final, right? They were pressured a little bit, they were pressured at times, but you know, they only dropped one set. Alberta dropped one set on the way to the final, mm -hmm. Sherbrooke dropped none, yeah. right? So it was, you know, a clash of the titans, and, and we didn't know what to expect. You know, and after that first set, we thought, oh boy, uh, Alberta's the we real deal. We They're just going to walk away with yeah. this one. And, you know, Sherbrooke changed their style of play and fought so hard to come back in this game and really impose their will on Alberta in that second, third, fourth set. But at the end of the day, you know, there's only one winner in this national championship, and that's Alberta. Yeah, I mean, after that first set, I thought we would already be at Ale House. Um, but instead, Sherbrooke came back. They battled in and out. And it's really too bad because it only unraveled in the last five points there, the last few points of that fifth set. And you have to wonder what would have happened if they had just been able to pull something back, one or two points. And that's what's, you know, in these games that are so close, especially in the fifth set, you're going to go over just those those balls that are of inches. And I have to, my heart goes out to Z uh, Zachary Allins for missing that serve in the out one. He played such a fantastic, even just to get them back, they were down 14-10. And he brought them all the way back down to 14-13. And it's so tough, we've talked about it before, to come out of timeout and just to put a serve in. So tough there, and I feel for, for Zachary Holland you in that situation. You feel for him too, but you also know he can't go back there and throw a lollipop no. in, right? He has to put in pressure like yeah. he did back to back. And if, you know, at this level, if you just throw a serve in, teams will bury you. Yeah. And, and he put pressure on back to back times, and, and he tried again the third time. And, and here we go for the trophy presentation for your Alber Alberta Golden Bears. So the U Sports banner and the Tantramar Trophy going to be presented here to the Alberta Golden Bears, as you see. The entire team, but led by the leadership crew of Weave. Is this a football team over here? How That's many captains they got? Bro. And Johnstone. Oh, banners upside down. Got to switch her up. Nice. And the 2024 U Sports Men's Volleyball National Champions are the Alberta Golden Bears as they unfurl the banner. And get ready to celebrate as a group here. You see Espedito waiting impatiently for the culmination and the trophy raising. That's, this is torture. You just have to sit there with and take pictures. I mean, it's better than the NFL, but look at that. What a moment there for the Golden Bears hoisting that Tantramar trophy. And what an amazing conclusion to the 2024 U Sports men's volleyball season as the Alberta Golden Bears take down the Sherbrooke Bechiol to, to claim the U Sports national title. And we're thankful that you've been along for the experience with us here on CBC Sports All Tournament Long. Before we sign off, we'd like to thank the people who have worked hard to bring you these broadcasts and university sports coverage all season long. The executive producer of U Sports on CBC, John Bauer. Broadcast production assistant Molly Cohn, U Sports graphics coordinator Aaron McPherson, video producers Osman Omar and Neville Medill, and Sarah Syed, and stats John Edwards, commercial sales Tyler Mulligan. Our U Sports on CBC streaming partners ISI Live, including CEO Bent Nethery, Bent Nethery, Vice President Network Operations and Support Matt Copeland, Broadcast Support Specialist Justin Hollier, Operations Specialist Caitlin De DeMaranis, and our local production crew provided by Station 14. The directors of U Sports Men's Volleyball Championships on CBC have been Jack Blondin and Joe Elliott. Replay and graphics operators Fraser McDonald and Ashley Doublestein. Camera operators Angelo Agostino, Liam McGean, and Nicholas Santamora. And thank you to Volleyball Canada game officials and Queen's University for organizing this championship. A special thanks to our national broadcast partner at CBC Sports for all their efforts to provide the best platforms to connect youth sports student athletes with Canadians from coast to coast. And thank you again to our broadcast partner, Station 14, for their outstanding work all weekend. And finally, thank you to our fans for your amazing support of youth sports volleyball across Canada all season long and throughout this championship. 
We invite you to continue watching CBC Sports for the best in amateur sports coverage, including Paris 2024, the Olympic and Paralympic Games, coming this July to CBC Television, CBC Radio, CBC Gem, and cbcsports.ca. For Logan Ramsey, Ben Plazada, Everett DeLorme, Alex Elliott, I am Kyle Campo. This concludes the U Sports coverage on CBC for the 2023-24 season. We will be back next September with coverage of conference regular season and playoff action leading up to the fall 2024 U Sports Championships. Until then, we wish you an outstanding summer and look forward to you joining us again in the fall as our 15,000 student athletes begin their quest to chase the glory. So for the final time, on behalf of our entire CBC Sports crew here in Kingston, this is Kyle Koppel reminding you that the Alberta Golden Bears are golden in U Sports men's volleyball. They take it three sets to two against the Sherbrooke Verriot and are the 2024 U Sports men's volleyball national champions. Sports on CBC, presented by the Championnat du Sport at Radio Canada, in présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada, Nike, just do it, Fender, Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year program, Pierre Partenaire des Prix de l'Entraîneur de l'Année U Sport, Maraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979, Partenaire du Sport Universitaire depuis 1969, Baron, Exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des packs des championnats U Sport. Et par Mikasa, l'étoile menton du volleyball. Le V 200W, ballon officiel de U Sport. And by Mikasa, maker of volleyball's hottest star, the V 200W, official volleyball of U Sports.